When you come to liku away, and I turn a lack of
Ndapi umetindi wa wei mwana yesu. Hatu kustahili wei mawake. Light mwana angeli angalia vikezo. Vyake binadamu. Mimi na wei tusinge kuwa hapa. He is a good of good God full of mercy. Biblia inasema ni kwa huruma zake ndio maana atuangamie. Hallelujah. He is a good God. He is a good God. He is not called good God because he looks nice. He is called good God because he has good heart. Passionate for his people. Na leo tena yuko hapa kutuonyesha wema wake. Kwa neno lake. Amen. Are you ready for God today? Are you ready to go to another level today? Congratulations kwa kuwai. This is impressive. Very impressive. Let's do it better again tomorrow and the rest of the week. Amen fanye hivi tena wiki uh, wiki hii mpaka mwisho wa wiki i believe god has something good to share with us and uh, i just want to trust god kwa ajili ya mabadiliko ya maisha yetu na ninamwamini bwana atatusaidia you see This is a message I want you to carry in your heart. And um, share it wherever you are if somebody ask you about me. Or about us. We are just people striving to seek God. Tunapambana kumpata Mungu tuliyemsikia, tuliyeelezwa habari zake. So we may not get right all the time. But trust me. Our intention is solid. We want to seek God. Nasema hivi makusudi kwa sababu I know people may disappoint you in one way or the other in your journey to seek God. Some may be men of God. Some may be friends, some may be people ambao hawamjui Mungu. Tell them this. I'm just seeking God. If I don't get it right, be sure I have a vision. One day I got it right. This should be your language every single day. This is why nataka ni kuaminishe. Njia za kufanikiwa haziko Google. Here. This is financial breakthrough conference. It is very wrong. Kwa wewe kuja huko ndani and still ukaamini. You can get ways za kufanikiwa somewhere else outside from the word of God. I want you today kabla sijazungumza This is the reason jana nimekusainisha mkataba. So that you may be solid in your decisions. I want you to know it is true. It is true. 
God can prosper his people. Watu wote uliowaona kwenye Biblia wametajirika na wamefanikiwa. It is true. God helped them to be where they were. It is true. So ukiona wao hujafanikiwa bado, just say it. I didn't get right, but it is true God prospers people. Say it is true. God can make people rich. Tukimwendea Mungu na nia mbili mbili, we won't get it. We won't get it. I want it to be so solid in our hearts. That it is true God prospers people. Everything written in this word, it is true. God can make people rich. It is true. Na vijana wako sizugi. Nataka kweli kusikia kutoka kwake namna ya mimi kuwa tajiri. Hallelujah. Say it again it is true. So when we are striving seeking God and his word you should uh, should tell people about your pastor that he is not saying anything to pretend that it is it is so gukiri anakuambia yani yule baba pale mbele anamaanisha kila nalo lisema hazugi Yaani niambie kitu watu wa Mungu sijifanyishi. Yaani mimi sijifanyishi mlokole. <laughs> mimi ni mlokole. Alafu niambie kitu. Sijitahidi. Ndio naishi. I don't joke about this thing. Sina irizi mimi. Sina mganga. Sina ndumba. My parents never took me to a witch doctor. They introduced me to church and I have found my God myself. Nimwambie mtu mmoja, hata nikisikia watumishi wa Mungu wote duniani waliowahi kuninspire wakaamua kumwacha Mungu. Yaani wao wanaweza wakaendelea kumwacha. Ila I have found him to be so true to me. Hata kama ananidanganya, let him lie because the lie is so sweet. I'm saying this is please understand me. I have I have my meaning. Because now you are some of you probably you have been disappointed by pastors or men of God <laughs> my brother my sister me that you have come to a place to know that God is true seek him seek him seek him seek you what eh? him fully fully you know me and you najua mnanifahamu mimi nawapenda kuambia vitu kwa uwazi kabisa bila kufumba fumba maneno siki him because god is true mama yako anaweza akawa mlokole afa aku disappoint baba yako anaweza akawa mlokole alafu aka disappoint nabii wako mchungaji wako mtume wako mwalimu wako asende siku anaweza aka disappoint but jesus never disappoints kitengeneza msingi wa namna hii 
our speed into seeking God will never be reduced by the events of men. Matukio wa nadamu hata punguza speed yetu ya kumtafuta Mungu. Mtu akiamua kumwacha Mungu kwenye hii safari amwache yeye ila as for us we will continue. Kwa ngikuwa mke wangu anavaa hicho kilemba kila siku. Unajua watu wangesemaje? Unaona lile jembe la Uhusu la mchungaji? Lile lemba ndo limebeba dawa. People can create any scenario, you know. So you should be very intelligent enough you should be matured ninawahubiria haya watu wa Mungu wame expect you kukua haraka because greatness is for matured usimtumikie Mungu kwa mood nasema hivi kwa sababu you signed the contract yesterday <laughs> anaweza ukatokea huko ndani asha akakuudhi mimi na kanisa siendi tena. Dada uli sign contract. <laughs> Mimi huyu Mungu basi. Nini? No. Sema I have my personal relationship with God. Kuna mahali mimi na yeye tunakutana. Sema kuna mahali mimi na yeye tunakutana. Hapo mtu yoyote hatuingili. That will help you. And your journey will be so easy and exciting. Hallelujah. Are you ready for today? Yeah. This is six o'clock and this is financial breakthrough conference theme is the court and the preacher is PT. This is how we go today. Isaiah chapter number Oh God bless you. Watu wa Mungu Mungu awabariki sana. Mungu awabariki sana. Mungu awabariki sana. Mungu awabariki sana mtumishi. Amen. God bless you. Ni mtoto wa mama mchungaji anaitwa Maiko. Watu wakipata kesi zao mbalimbali kuhusu Maiko huwa wanamtafuta mama mchungaji. Naomba wote mmwangalie Maiko mwambie Maiko usimsumbue mama mchungaji. Naomba mmwambie. Asante sana. Mtumwambie hivyo mnatusaidia mambo ya kupata kesi za maiko <laughs> so vizuri ni saa ngapi ile baba ah. isaya wapi tena hii ni saa moja nilikuwa nimesikia roho ni mwangu hapo Isaya msana nane. <laughs> Isaiah chapter number 58. Naomba usome kwa sauti yako yote. Kuanzia mstari wa kwanza. Ndio baba, twende 1 2 3 go everybody. Piga kelele usiache. Ngoja, amesema fanya nini? Piga kelele usiache. Ongea polepole. Piga kelele. Wanaongoneze. Piga kelele. Waandikie. Piga kelele. Amesema fanya nini? Piga kelele. Ndio maana jana unaona anasema anapiga kelele anasema hivi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm going to make noise about it. Amesema piga kelele usiache. And then do what? Panza sauti yako kama tarumbeta. Panza sauti yako kama tarumbeta. Then wahubiri watu wangu kosa lao. Eh. Na nyumba ya Yakobo dhambi zao. Eh. Walakini watanitafuta kila siku. Mm penda kujua njia zangu mm. kama vile taifa walioenda haki mm. wasioacha sheria ya Mungu wao mm. utaka kwangu amri za haki ufurahi kumkaribia Mungu usema mbona tumefunga lakini uone mbona tumejitaabisha nafsi zetu lakini uangalie kwa hao jamaa walikuwa wamepiga fasting wanajitaabisha lakini Mungu wao Mungu anasema kuna kitu awasikii 
Now imagine people are fasting and praying to hear God and they don't hear. To the extent Mungu anabidi amwambie prophet amwambie hivi piga kelele usiache. Maana kiao watu pamoja na mifungo yao pamoja na maombi yao there is something walikuwa wasiki. Tunamtafuta Mungu. Tunamuomba Mungu juu ya kupata kazi. Namuomba Mungu juu ya breakthrough. Nimefunga pastor ni nimefunga. Ulikuwa sasa tufunge zile sita. Nimefunga zile. Kazi nikakosa. You see these are the extra, uh, uh, the complaints that people are coming it with church. No testimony ambazo watu wanazo. Nimeenda kwenye mkuyu we mpaka mkuyu ni ukawa mkuyu. Hamna chochote nicho kiona. Hata dia ni kama wanafanya gimmicks kama wana fake kama wanaigiza. We think like it's not true. Listen to me. Anasema hivi waambie. Piga kelele usiache. Wahubiria hao watu kosa lao. Mind you kosa nalo zungumzo hapa kwenye conference hii la na kosea wapi when it comes to my wealth when it comes to a place of experience abundance finance na kosea wapi so inawezekana limehubiriwa ili jambo lakini you have never heard because some of the principles in hizoambia hata jana in Matayo 6:33 you have been hearing it tafuteni kwanza ufai wa Mungu lakini probably you didn't hear the way it was supposed to be heard that's why the man is saying piga kelele where is there what where do they do mistakes so intention ya mafundisho kama haya any wise man will start by telling you guys no matter how the simplest no matter how simplest principles ninazo hapa zinaonekana ni simple please go ahead and do them oh, yes we have this very bad tendency in our life ya kufikiri tunajua yani kama ah hii point hii naijua alifundisha hata mwalimu nani mwalimu kiswaswala alifundisha hii nilisikia jumapili alipita kanisa ni paroko alizungumzia kitu kama hiki so we tend to take it light and then we miss what god was delivering in the season listen kila mafundisho unayosikia tunayafundisha believe me believe me i'm a praying guy i pray i ask god what the season of this time for your people what do you want people to hear fatlia masomo yote tuliyokuwa tunafundisha trust me every kuna mtu alikuja kushuhudia hapa siku moja akawa anasema hivi mtumishi hii nilipata kipindi cha maneuvering system. Hii nilipata kipindi cha every topic in a season yake. So Mungu kawaida yake huwa afanyi jambo bila nasema hivi kabla hajawajulisha watumishi wake maana bi siri yake. So God before prospering his people, he is about to release abundance finance for his church. Yes. And akuachilia kiwango cha uchumi wa kanisa lake kiinuke kifanikiwe. And then bad and very bad is this. Are these people prepared? Do you know? Yesu anakuja mara ya pili. Lakini there must be preachers to prepare. Hata wakati anakuja Yesu ujio wake mara ya kwanza, alitakiwa atangulie Yohana ku prepare. Anasema sauti ya mtu aliyeye kutoka jikani akisema itengenezeni njia ya Bwana ya nyosheni mapito yake. Meaning before the Lord doing anything to anyone, he sends the messenger who will speak a word who will speak things that are about to come ili wao watakaoamini wayapokea hayo yatakayoachiliwa na Mungu nyakati hizo wakati Mungu anaachia yes piga kelele usiache this is what the lord is telling anamwambia pastor Tony piga kelele usiache keep on talking about this thing waelezee watu hawa waelezee watu hawa kosa lao So I'm not here to judge you. I'm here to show you. Ulikosea wapi? And what to do now? Amen. Hi. Are you there? Yes. Tazama. Start one name. Nini mmefungwa mpate kushindana na kugombana na kupiga kwa ngumi ya uovu? Hamfungi siku hii ya leo hata kuisikiza sauti ya so they fast but they don't hear 
this young man here. When we are coming out yesterday, I can't even be a pastor. Do you know? I got a declaration. I love to know, but I I got instruction from the Holy Spirit. I want to do business. Okay. Yeah, and I find your mambo ya interior design and a company like a deco, but also he's into fishing industry. So he was he, he, he was looking to catch the market. Next time fishing industry, Simanisha and Jumwa Samaki. No, no, no. He has fishing boat. He has people who are going to fish the fish and putting them at the ferry nearby the Ikulu of Mama. Oh yes. This young man here. So I am I am not experienced in the industry. I am new into the industry. So you gonna muriza mungo, how do I take over the market? So if you, when we were praying, I heard the voice. Every day. Sorry, Every day, kuanzia saa usiku saa kumi, nenda feri. And catch the market. Sasa yeye alikuwa anajua ni kujumua. Nikamwambia vi no, sio hivyo. Go there and starting planting your name oh, yes. into the hearts of people before they step into the oh yes you see now it is your kusatu sharabo ora ba 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 hey as you are praying as you are meditating as you are saying amen you hear you are in here must be huku nje makelele sikiliza huku nje ongea but deep within hear instruction oh yes every one of us Baada ya kupokea general codes, every one of us has his or her own personal code. Amen. Hii ni code yake. Sio kazi ngani mimi ni chukua nikafanya inaweza zikutoke matokeo. Every one of us has his or her personal code. Kitu ambacho wa Kristo wa kanisa la nchi yetu hawajafundishwa sana ni uwezo wa kuisikia sauti ya Mungu akiwa anaongea ndani yako. So tumaini lote tumerirusha kwa manabii na watumishi wa Mungu. Wao ndio watuelekeze. Na yeye atakuelekeza kulingana na mood yake. If he is not in the mood, he will not talk to you. Au kama una laki mbili na nusu, akwambie. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. It matters a lot to learn to train yourself katika kuomba kwangu huku can i exercise my inner hearing to hear na ukizisikia useme vitu ah mwanangu nimesikia kitu fulani hivi yani ah noma so the problem we have is this kwa mfano huyu anasikia code kama hivyo kaambiwa saa tisa usiku saa kumi. make sure you are there ukihakikisha ukizunguka hapa na hapa na kutufanya ya kufanya mengine nimemwelekeza atajua yeye sasa zipofanya now unaweza ukasikia kabisa roho mtakatifu kwaambia ufanye kitu fulani and then hivi Ah, sio sasa hivi. Ukazuga siku ya kwanza. Ukazuga siku ya pili. And then shoo, the motivation fades away. Ile pull ya kwenda kufanya inaisha. And then after some time utarudi tena kwa Mungu. Baba, nisaidie biashara yangu ina ina inasuasua Bwana. Unakuja kwa mtumishi mtumishi. Nimekuja na sadaka yangu ya matoleo unakuja baina na sadaka yako. Buku jero. Unawekea mkono baba katika jina ya Yesu azama <laughs> mtu huyo amekuja <laughs> But you know what God is saying I've been talking to you Tayari nimeshakupa instruction Kitu cha kukutoa nimeshakupa But look at you you are too busy you think I was joking You think I didn't mean what I said You think ulichokisikia ah, itakuwa mawazo yangu in the presence of god sio mawazo yako sio mawazo yako yes. in the presence of god and your thoughts are clean your mind is clean you are seeking god you are praying and yes. then you hear a certain idea alafu nasema ilikuwa tu ni mawazo yako wewe si ni kuita kajinga anyway it's kuita kajinga nasema wewe wa ajabu kweli in the presence of god you hear something okay niwaambie kitu do you think i am a conference tunayo anda yanatokana na sauti noise kama unaweza hivi mwanangu mwanangu niandalie kongamano nataka kunena na watu wangu au hizi tarehe 
kwamba tarehe fulani na tarehe fulani tutakuwa tuko Mwanza. Unafikiri natokana na Sazama Tony na kuagiza uende Mwanza tarehe 12. No. In the midst of prayers you hear the name of the city is dropped. Unaanza kusikia msukumo. Mwanza. Naisikia Mwanza. By the, by this saying I mean this. Next month. Oh yes. I'm going to Mwanza. Amen. Hata ni kama hivi, unasikia unaizungumzia Mwanza hapa and then unaanza unasema hivi. Niko natoa mfano. What if God was delivering a message? Fikiri Yusuf babake Yesu anaota ndoto kwamba mchukue mtoto mpeleke Misri. Afa sasa hivi itakuwa hii ndoto ni Misri ya kiroho. Try to think Do you think Mungu atabadilisha namna ya kusema na watu wake? Yusuf alikuwa ni mtu wa damu na nyama. There was a lady today, I mean to me a voice note hapa. I don't know if I'll get time to nikusikizishe. Anasema jana nilipokuwa tangaza kuhusu partnership, alipo join into partnership. Anasema in two weeks she was on bed. Probably she's watching me right now. Two weeks she was on bed, critical sick, kifua kinambana, kinamtesa. Anasema hivi, yani I was mo- almost going and then general posikia kwamba nimetangaza be a partner and part, part with God synchronize your business with God and she made a vow yesterday na akaweka commitment yake jana and then this is what happened anasema hivi alifanya hivyo saa tisa usiku akalala yani alipiga simu saa tisa usiku kufanya commitment yake akalala alipolala akaota ndoto anasema nikakuona ndotoni unaniambia kaa nikiwa ndotoni nikakaa ukaniambia hivi huna ugonjwa badilisha godoro you may think it's a joke ni kama kitu fulani cha kutekesha the voice not is there huna ugonjwa badilisha godoro na lalia godoro na lalia anasema hivi nilipoamka asubuhi i remembered that was the same thing mama yangu aliniambia 3 weeks ago as because my mother is a pastor mama yake alimwambia hivi kila nikiomba nasikia tu ndani yangu ili godoro lako litakuwa linakuumiza yani sisikii kitu kingine chochote wewe yani nasikia tu kama godoro linakuletea shida doctors know kwamba unaweza kupata effect ya mwili kwa sababu ya godoro nalalia asema then baada ya kusema hivyo then i saw you praying and casting out demons in my chest and then suddenly nikaona nyoka anatoka kwenye mkono wangu azani nimeamka asubuhi completely healed na hivi ninavyokuambia mtumishi nimekalia godoro jipya now uamke sasa asubuhi mimi ndoto tu ile you are dying not because god was not there to help you No you ignored a certain voice. Kuna sauti ulisikia huyo usimkopeshe hakulipi ulisikia. Ulisikia. Ila mwenye wako sauti unajua rafiki yangu. You see the problem with our God is not emotional. It is you wewe ndo unafikiri mwenye wako sasa hivi hasa atanionaje? Mungu ajua hilo. Fikiri Abraham anaambia na Mungu hivi toka uende paka nchi nitakayokuambia alafu kukubariki nitakubariki. Alafu Abraham amke asubuhi asema hivi. Hmm. Kweli Mungu nampenda asa baba yangu atanielewa kweli ah we mwanangu da not every time god will give you instruction to be sound instruction not everyone will understand it ah tufanye mfano we ni sara afu unapewa story na mjakazi asubuhi unamtafuta ibu baba watoto Isaka <laughs> Kimya unamuuliza kijakazi mmoja Bwana umemwona baba na Isaka hapa <laughs> Mama sijui nikwambie Kuna nini <laughs> Mama ise Mama huyo mwanaume wako Mimi mama nitakwambia Eh Ameondoka hapa na panga na kuni. Na story nilizosikia naenda kumtoa mtoto kafara. Hayavaa viatu vya sara. 
dadangu. <laughs> Ungekuwa huko United States of America 911 emergency call. Mwanangu anauawa. Somebody is hijacking my son. Kuna mtu anamuua mtoto wangu. Dada sijui mda huo utakuwa umevaa nini. Ila ninachojua utatoka nduki walielekea wapi huku. Huna wao naweza kawa na farasi. Wewe huna farasi ila utawakuta. Alafu utafika mbele utasema mbele hivi baba samani. Zawa kwako ukachinje. Not every instruction ambayo Mungu atakupa itakuwa sound and sweet. The young man is supposed to wake up 3 a.m. to go to ferry na afike pale to pray to declare to capture the spirit and souls hiyo nitafundisha kesho Jumatano how to capture spirit and souls before they come to your shop they may not like you but even their spirits as i mean no no apa kia anauliza rafiki yake umenua wapi mimi mwanamke simpendi sana lakini ni vile tu anauza hiki kitu yani mimi mwenyewe simtaki ah hata mimi sikutaki all i want is your money me and you the relationship Moja isa, when you see me laughing at you brother it's not because i like to i like what is in your pocket are you getting what i'm saying naelewa ninachosema so naweka hii mapema ili tunapoingia kwa sababu from today we are starting going very deep in a spiritual stuff eh? so i want you to know with your notebook right there when we are praying and you hear a certain thing please please kwanza leo hii ndio ule muda wa kuomba huko unaandika shatarabu kota and then unasikia something chwa kimedondoshwa write it down and when you go home please usiandikie masifa kwa tunje kwamba hey ndo kasikia sasa andika ukimaliza kuandika kafanya nini katende it's not enough to pray it's not enough to fast it is into the doing of what you had Na niwaambie kitu kingine hatuwezi kusikia wote kitu kimoja Ko anaweza akasikia huyu kitu kingine kabisa na wewe ukasikia kitu kingine kabisa alafu ona muhadisia huyo he Mungu akusemesha hivyo ha Mungu ayuko hivyo Yusuf aliambiwa mkimbize mtoto asije akauao na nani na Herode, si ndio? Lakini Abraham aliambia huyo mtoto wake. Sasa fikiri unamkutana na Abraham na Yusuf. Alafu wewe unamwambia Yusuf, Yusuf, mimi Mungu ameniambia nika huyo mtoto wangu. Yusuf anakuambia mwanangu, Mungu hayuko hivyo. Mungu ataokoa mtoto wako saa yote. Mungu mimi ameniambia, nimuokoe mtoto wangu asiwawe na Herode. Mungu ana namna hiyo hakuna. Ukimwambia Ibrahim kama Mungu kaniambia ni mkimbize mtoto Ibrahim anambia hapana Mungu kawaida yake <laughs> anasema chinja So you should learn to mature to take instructions of God personal Alichomwambia Mungu huyu hajamwambia huyu Moja ya vitu ambavyo I struggled a lot in my life to take instructions kwa Mungu anapokuambia sababu ufanye kitu fulani wewe mwenyewe unakuwa hujui kwa nini anasema ufanye Menelewa? Yes. Menelewa watu wa Mungu? Amen. Because we are talking about the code. The code that you are going to receive is not the code of just praying. Other codes are codes of instructions. Jana nimekuambia hapa commitment to what God is doing. Tunapojicommit kwenye kile Mungu anachokifanya kwenye maisha yetu. If we blend into God and his agenda. 
he will provide hakuna ufalme unaofanya kitu bila interest hakuna if we are talking money we should know hata benki za wanadamu wa kawaida they don't offer you money for nothing interest mungu alionayo kwenye hiyo biashara yako ni ipi i like it one lady uh, dada mmoja leo amenitumia kwenye <laughs> alionyesha mkataba wake alioandika na Mungu <laughs> Nikasema amen Imani ni kuwa na hakika Aside kwa tukala ya mtumishi wa Mungu Simuoni Mungu kuja kusaini hii karatasi So nitaileta kanisani you will sign on behalf of him simple faith without action so so wewe wewe we, we, akili yako unasubiria kufanya reaction ili kubwa yani mimi Mungu anasubiria nifanye reaction kubwa even these little actions of faith these little actions of faith they give you one step ahead in your faith they give you one step ahead in your faith hallelujah amen Are you ready now? Hii ilikuwa ni introduction ya siku ya leo. Mko tayari sasa? Yes. Mko tayari? Yes. Karibu kae. Kumbukumbu la Torati 18 Yaani fanya niwe jasiri Siri na Yesu Yaani fanya niwe jasiri soma pale Ni kumbukumbu la Torati sura ya 18 kuanzia mstari wa kwanza Eh Eke eke just go there Anza mstari wa kwanza Makuhani walawi kabila yote ya Lawi wasiwe na fungu wala urithi pamoja na Israeli watakula sadaka za Bwana zifanywazo kwa moto na urithi wake wala wasiwe na urithi kati ya ndugu zao Bwana ndiye urithi wao kama alivyowaambia na hii itakuwa haki ya makuhani kwa watu hao wasongezao sadaka ikiwa ni ngombe au kondoo wampe kuhani mkono of course hiyo mistari ya kwanza is not my interest okay yes i think you know where i want to go but you can start there no problem anzia hapo ili wajue kwamba kula sadaka sio dhambi So, soma soma mtumishi wa Mungu. Mstari wa tatu. Anza wa kwanza. Makuhani walawi kabila yote ya Lawi wasiwe na fungu wala urithi pamoja na Israel watakula sadaka za Bwana zifanywazo kwa moto na urithi wake. Maraga wa jamaa walinyimwa wasiwe na ardhi. Mungu aliwakatalia wasiwe na ardhi. Uh-huh. Wala wasiwe na urithi kati ya ndugu zao Bwana ndiye urithi wao kama alivyowaambia na hii itakuwa haki ya makuhani kwa watu hao wasongezao sadaka ikiwa ni ngombe au kondoo wampe kuhani mkono na mashavu mawili na tumbo malimbuko ya nafaka zako na divai yako na mafuta yako na manyoya ya kwanza ya kondoo zako umpe kwani Bwana Mungu wako amemchagua katika kabila zako zote asimame atumike kwa jina la Bwana yeye na wanawe milele na akija mlawi atokae katika malango yako mmoja wapo katika Israeli yote alipokuwa akikaa akaja kwa mapenzi yote ya nafsi ya nafsi yake mahali atakapochagua Bwana 
Nenda msalimu wa tisa kwa kwa muda. Yes. Utakapokuisha kuingia katika nchi akupayo Bwana. Naomba tusome kwa sauti wote hapo. Utakapokuisha kuingia katika nchi akupayo Bwana. Mhm. Mungu wako usijifunze kutenda kwa mfano wa machukizo ya mataifa yale. Rudia tena. Utakapokuisha kuingia katika nchi akupayo Bwana. Mungu wako usijifunze kutenda kwa mfano wa machukizo ya mataifa yale. Sisi tunapookoka, Biblia nasema hivi tumehamishwa. Sema tumehamishwa. Tumehamishwa. So, inawezekana bado tunakaa chunya au tunakaa uh, mbagala kizuiani, lakini the moment we are born again, our spirits zimehama mji. Kwa hiyo Mji wa Dar es sio mji tunaokaa sisi. Mji wetu sisi ni spiritual location. Amen. Amen. So wokovu unachokifanya unatutransfer sisi. Wokovu ni kama visa au ni ni kama uraia. Unatupa sisi kuwa raia wa nchi nyingine. Anasema tumehamishwa kutoka mautini kwenda uzimani. So our souls our spirits are transferred from one city to another city. Yes. Every person ambaye amemwamini Kristo kuwa bwana na mwokozi wa maisha yake amehamishwa according to the Bible. Tumehamishwa. Amesema tumeingia mlango ulio mwembamba. Anasema tumeufikiria mji wa Sayuni. So we are still in Tanzania. We are still in Jerusalem but we have come unto Mount Zion. Yes. Kwa hiyo roho zetu na maisha yetu yana function from Zion. Kwa kazi zetu na shughuli zetu zote hatufanyii hapa Tanzania, tunafanyia from Zion. So we operate business since but we operate it when our spirits are in Zion. Yes. Are you listening to Anzai? Amen. Kwa anasema hivi Wana wa Israeli kwenye kitabu cha Warumi wa uh, amini wa Korinto anasema hivi Mambo haya yaliyowapata hao yaliwapata wao kwa jinsi ya mifano ili kuwafikiria nyinyi mliofikiwa na misho ya zamani yani safari ya wana wa Israeli imefananishwa na safari yetu ya wokovu kwamba kulikuwa na nchi wanaitazamia na wanaitarajia wakaifikia hiyo nchi wakakaa sasa Mungu akawaelekeza mkifika kwenye hiyo nchi msifanye mambo ya mfano wao nao sisi tuliookoka injiri ya lesser truth lesser truth you know when i say lesser truth yani kweli ya chini inasema kuna mbingu tunaisubiria lakini higher truth inasema we have arrived in heaven now because anasema hivi tumeketishwa pamoja naye sio tuta sio tuta tumeketishwa so we are not expecting to go to heaven we are already there our names are already there yes we are registered there already hallelujah amen naweza nikawa niko south africa niko zimbabwe niko kenya but my name jina langu liko rita I belong to Tanzania. Mimi ni raia wa Tanzania. Ni mwananchi wa Tanzania. Yes. Kwa naweza nikawa nimeenda America kusoma, but my name is not registered in the book of America. Yes. My name is registered in Tanzania. So, siku wa Tanzania wa, um, wa Marekani wakinichoka au nikifanya tukio la they will deport me back to my nation. Right? Yes. Nikimaliza papa sio yote nipa. Hiyo inifanya niishi kule. I'm back. Are you getting the point? Amen. So our names are registered there, but we are here now. So we belong there. There is our home. Pale ndio nyumbani kwetu. So if we want pocket money, we will not ask the people around here. We will ask the people from home. If we want any help, we will not him. Na ndio maana, ndio maana kila nchi ambayo tuna mahusiano nao mazuri kidiplomasia, kuna ubalozi. Just in case wananchi wa nchi hiyo wakitaka msaada The moment Marekani Marekani akifanya kosa lolote kwenye nchi hii lolote nikisema lolote na maanisha lolote hata kumua mtu As long as yuko nje ya ubalozi wake mnaruhusiwa kumkamata na kumfanya chochote The moment ameingia kwenye mageti ya American embers is no longer your guy. 
mtalia we tunamuomba huyo mtu it is at the mercy of the ambassador are you listening mgonge jirani yako mwambie najua hivi tuni vigumu ni vizito na kwa sababu upendagi shule ulikimbia shule muamini Mungu hela inahitaji ujifunze vumilia mtie moyo mtie moyo ndugu yako mwambie vumilia mtumishi vumilia vumilia mtu wa Mungu naomba mtie moyo nimekutuma mtie moyo mwambie vumilia jitahidi hivyo hivyo najua civics ulipata C Hello Amen So the embassy is not regarded as the ubalozi wa Marekani pale hauitwi hai sio hali ya Tanzania ile is an is american land in tanzanian country so the moment and the minute mtu anaingia kwenye ule ubalozi maana yake ameingia marekani you are not allowed to touch that person unless kwa mamlaka ya balozi wa marekani there is some way i'm going follow me So there is a trick in the body of Christ ambayo watoto wa Mungu asipoelewa they are into trouble kwa sababu they are living on earth now they are under pressure na matatizo na changamoto za dunia zinazoendelea and they don't know how to survive in it now because they are not taught kwamba you are not of this world and the bible says yes on the you are in the world but not of this world mko duniani lakini nyinyi si wa dunia hii maana yake ni nyinyi wa mahali pengine your life is supposed to be fed from another level maisha yenu yanatakiwa yahudumiwe kutokea level nyingine akili yako inatakiwa ujiwazie kutokea level nyingine think from mountain top perspective from zion perspective from another country's perspective unaongea kutokea huko unawaza kutokea huko unafikiri kutokea huko unafanya biashara zako kutokea huko unaenda ku apply kazi kutokea huko sitokei mbagala nikienda ku apply kazi yes. natokea sayuni kwenda ku apply kazi amen unapoenda asubuhi kari yako kufanya biashara yako kufungua duka lako naomba kujua unatokea bunju au unatokea sayuni kwa baba Man according to the Bible anasema kwenye Zaburi ya 20 anasema Bwana akupelekee msaada kutoka Sayuni yes. akupelekee msaada kutoka patakatifu kwake yes. patakatifu na shirika la misaada kuna USAID and heaven aid Amen Hallelujah Amen akuletee msaada kutoka patakatifu kwake anajua kuna saa watoto wa mbingu watahitaji msaada when they call when they cry let the heaven deliver the help Yes. Let the heaven deliver the aid. Yes. You will be aided from heaven from today. Amen. Utasaidiwa kutokea mbinguni. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. This one should give you confidence to depend on God alone. Yes. Ikutie ujasiri leo hii ya kumtegemea Mungu peke yake. Amen. Hata kama nitatakiwa kuomba kitu kutoka kwa mtu, God has to show me that person. Not me begging to a person. I can't beg. I don't beg. I'm not a beggar. I don't know how to beg. I can I, uh, I, 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 I will not beg. I cannot I refuse to beg. There will never be a day that I will beg. I cannot beg. All things are di- at my disposal. I can reach out from anywhere. God seated from heaven. Mungu akitokea sayuni ameketi katika kiti cha enzi. He is influencing the world. Oh, yes. Akitokea sayuni, he is saying, maji na yajawe viumbe na maji yanaitika. Anasema nchi naitoe majani na nchi naitika. Tatizo lako ukiwa unaomba unaomba kama unatokea gongola mboto. Omba kama unatokea sayuni. Sit from heaven. Yes. Hai. Maybe I'm going to speed. Come down Tony, come down. Let me go slow. Na maanisha hivi. Mungu anawaambia nawapeleka kwenye nchi ambayo mtawakuta wenyeji. But as for you, 
msifanye mfano wa matendo yao msifanye vitu kwa staili yao wao wana namna zao za kufanya but i will give you your ways i will give you your principles yes. ndio maana kwao kwao unapoambiwa kwao ukiwaambia hivi i'm supposed to give to receive kwao wanakuambia you are crazy you are crazy watu tuna save to get more lakini kwetu we don't save to get more bibi anasema hivi yuko yule atawanyae lakini anakusanya vingi na yuko yule ashikae lakini anatawanya anasema hivi hiyo yote anayejuhurumia nafsi yake anayejuhurumia nafsi yake anaiangamiza lakini yeye anayetoa nafsi yake kwa ajili yangu huyo ataiponya yes. wao akijificha atakuwa salama kwetu sisi when you go out anasema i will go with you amen for you to survive in there hamtegemei mbinu zao mnaweza mkawakuta wao wanalima misimu mitatu lakini nyinyi mkifika limeni mimi nikiwaambia limeni siku nikiwaambia msilime msilime kwa sababu kwenu nyinyi kila mwaka wa saba hamtalima mwaka miaka sita mtalima lakini mwaka wa saba hamtalima kwa sababu mwaka wa sita nitawapa mavuno Mungu anawaelekeza wana wa Israel Mwa, mwaka wa jubilee mtafanyeje anasema mkifika mwaka wa saba mkifika mwaka wa sita kuelekea wa saba nitawapa nyinyi mavuno ya kuwatoshea mwaka wa saba na mwaka wa nane mnapoanza kuandaa mashamba kwa malimu mingi kwa sababu mkiwaona wao wanalima mwaka wa saba relax That's where the difference begin. Are you listening? Yes. If you don't differentiate yourself. Wote mnaweza mkao mnafanya forever living. Mpagani na wewe wote. Lakini there is a way to do. Kuna namna ya mwana wa Mungu kulima shamba lake. There is a way when we get into our field. Mashamba yetu okay. Wao wanaweza wakashuka Misri, lakini wewe Isaka usishuke. Yes. So I don't do because I have seen them doing. I do because I heard. I have instruction. I have instruction. I I have instruction. The question I'm asking you tonight. What do you know about your king? Now you know why Jesus said seek ye first. Kwa sababu mnatakiwa muoperate Tanzania mkiwa mna kanuni za sayuni. Nchi moja ndogo kabisa katika bara la kati ya bara la Ulaya na bara la Asia inaitwa Israel. Ni nchi ambayo yuko kwenye jangwa. Ardhi ya nchi ile ni mawe mawe. Lakini vegetables zote za bara la Ulaya zinalishwa na Israel maziwa ya bara la Ulaya yanatokea Israel do you know ngombe anaitwa maziwa mengi duniani hayuko Australia yuko Israel hakuna majani mengi kama Tanzania kuna namna tu Mungu amegusagusa vein za huyu ngombe kiasi kwamba kikamuliwa ngombe yule yule ambaye nchi nyingine anatoa lita tano huku Israel kwa sababu ya aina ya nchi kwa sababu ya uvuli wa ile nchi yes. kwa sababu ya wingu kwenye ile nchi yes. anatoa lita 20 it has to be kaduka kako ni kawaida sana ila watu wanatakiwa wakija TRA hapo wasema hivi easy digits ni za kweli Miduka hili hili ndio natoa hapa. Watu waseme hivi, mm kuna mtu mwingine anamsaidia. Wakikwambia hivyo, wakikusema hivyo my dear. Usisema hivi. Yaani mimi wananisikiza. Mm. Sasa hivi. Mm. Ninayo siri na Yesu. <laughs> kuna mkono ambao ni invisible unaongeza vitu kwenye biashara yangu. Yes. Niulize swali. Nyie mnaamini kabisa mwanamke wa Sarepta aliwahi kuwepo duniani? 
Ndiyo. Mnaamini? Yes. Wangapi wanaamini hapa hizo mwanamke wa selector? Mwingine masikini ya Mungu ndio ameanza kuja ibadani juzi. Ajui hata <laughs> selector ndo wapi? Huyo mwanamke wa selector ndo nani? Anyway, kulikuwa na mtu mmoja anaitwa Elia. Elia alikuwa na mwanamke mjane wa selector. Huyo mwanamke mjane alimtembelea siku moja kwenye nchi yake akamwambia, "Mama, nipe mimi chakula kwanza nile and then ukamtengenezee mwanao na wewe mle mama akasema hivi tumebakiwa na konzi moja ya unga elia akamwambia kama Mungu aishivyo kapu lako litapungua unga please show me the equation kila yule mama akichukua unga na nikwambie sio kwamba ulikuwa unaongezeka akiwepo akirudi asubuhi <laughs> akipakua tena akirudi tena mzigo huo I want to praise a crazy prayer yes a crazy prayer yes kwa wale wenye account mbili mbili kama mimi yes kuna account moja ambayo uitumii sana yes ambayo ina hela yes i pray for you in the name of jesus amen before the end of this week yes you will find money that you didn't put in that account amen in the name of jesus amen ili mungu athibitisha ili nao lisema yes kabla ijumaa ijafika yes money will be found in that account amen so that you may say ah mkono wa bwana unafanya amen i command that money to be there in the name of jesus amen na nitakueleza hiyo hela naitoa wapi yes If you see me asking you for your money just know I give you a privilege that God was supposed to be given because I don't need to ask you to give me because I know what it takes to put money in my account when there is no money Nyinyi wenyewe huko katikati yenu ni mashahidi Kuna watu mmepokea hela ambazo hamjui nani amezituma mpaka leo mpaka leo umejaribu kukaa uone kama kuna mtu atakupigia simu mpaka dakika hii hamna aliyepiga simu Nyinyi wenyewe mnajua kuna wengine hapa kabla hamjaombewa na mtu yote mlikuwa mmetingwa sana mkakaa vyumbani mwenu mkasema Mungu naomba nisaidie nitaibika kafla akatokea mtu from nowhere akakupigia simu akakwambia hivi nimejisikia leo tunikupe hela yes. wewe huo ushahidi moyoni mwako unao yes. unao wala hutaji kumsingizia mtumishi yoyote yes. ni wako, ni muujiza ulio utengeneza wewe yes the problem with you and that other man of god tatizo lako tofauti yako wewe na mtumishi wa Mungu ni kwamba he knew what alijua mfumo wa kufanya kile kitu kiendelee remember alimwelekeza Musa njia zake na akawaonyesha wana wa Israeli matendo yake wewe ulibaki kushangilia matendo ukutaka kujua father what brought this man here sema kwa sauti nyembamba sema the god Some of you you are here. You know very well mtoto wako alitokea ameshafukuzwa ada paka sasa hivi. And you wonder mpaka dakika hiyo hajakupigia simu. Na sio kawaida ya shule ya mtoto wako. You know it. You think what is that? There are miracles that you don't count you guys. You think it's just normal. You think it's just normal. Mpaka dakika hii mwenye nyumba hajakufukuza kodi. You think what is that? God is trying to create an opportunity. Yes. Ili wewe uone na uappreciate useme Jehova. Ukimya huu sijauzoea. Yes. Lakini ninachojua, ninachojua yes. mkono wako uko kazini hapa Bwana. Amen. Wewe mpaka mtumishi akuwekee mkono mguu akusukume. Ndio sasa hivi, he mtumishi ana upako. No 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 no. God has been working in your life every single day. There are miracles that are happening to you every single day. Ninataka watu wa Mungu kuanzia leo. Yes. Tuwe kama vichaa. Expect crazy miracle. Amen. Crazy stuff. Amen. 
Usienda ofisini ukiwa umepanga panga utaratibu fulani fulani. No 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 no. Father I am up today. I'm waiting for anything from you. Yes. I'm expecting any crazy thing from you. Yes. Any crazy miracle from you. Yes. Sema that's me. That's me. Crazy things. Kwa sababu nchi tuliopo ni ya Tanzania. Lakini sisi Bibi anasema ni wapitaji si wenyeji wa mji huu. So manake we have our style of living. Yoyote aliyemwamini Kristo, Bibi anasema ameamishwa. Yes. Tabu yao sio tabu yetu. Yes. Wao wanaweza wakaathiriwa na corona sio sisi kwa jina la Yesu. Yes. Wao wanaweza wakaathiriwa na mtikisiko wa uchumi sio sisi kwa jina la Yesu. Amen. Some of us <laughs> why we don't argue with the government and stuff is because we know sisi huwa tunaiombea serikali na tunaiombea nchi kwa ajili ya watu wake but as for us wema na fadhili nitanifuata iwe ni serikali ya mangungo au serikali ya mwangindu ninachojua mimi wema i don't need to know who is the president 2025 whoever that will sit on the seat wema neno la mungu alibadilika kwa sababu eti regime imebadilika the word of god stays there ilipokuwa wakati wa mzee jakaya kikwete the word of god was bado ilikuwa sasa bwana ndiye mchungaji wangu zaburi ya 23 ilikuwa ni vile vile wakati wa mzee mkapa zaburi ya 23 ilikuwa ni vile vile wakati wa mzee magufuli zaburi ya 23 ilikuwa ni vile vile sasa hizi wakati wa mama zaburi ya 23 ni vile vile i cannot complain because as for me this should tell me where i should find my food yes this one I have no one to complain to. In the matter of fact, if you are a Christian and complaining to the government, please you should know. Tunatakiwa tumlaumu ni wewe. Because you had access to put somebody in power and you didn't. You have access to pray for those who are in power and you didn't. Unao neema na uwezo wa kuwaombea na kuwapa hekima ya Mungu kutoka kwao. Mwingine ni msikia mmoja siku moja sasa hivi, ah unajua sisi hawajatutafuta, hawajatutafuta. Hawajakutafuta kwa sababu you don't have influence enough. Kuna watu wanaitwa pale ikulu kila siku, kila siku, kila siku wanaitwa pale. Hata ungekuwa wewe. You will tend to believe those who are doing than those who are talking. The doers, people waliofanya impact kwenye nchi na kwenye jamii you can you know you can reason with them kama hao wameweza ku survive kwenye nchi hii na wakatengeneza vitu na vitu vikaonekana na wakawa na nguvu ya namna hii i think you can listen to them kuliko umetokea zako huko shaka la shuka una sasa hivi ah mimi nina jambo nina jambo lipi ambalo hilo hujaweza kulifanya kwenye nyumba yako kwanza kwenye biashara zako kwanza ushaje kuona wale watu ambao wana unabii juu ya maisha yako lakini maisha yao binafsi yamekuwa mamahali na wewe hujawahi kuwa na marafiki na namna hiyo. <laughs> Wanao kutolea wewe unabii wakati wao wenyewe wana vimeo vyao. Unajua mwanangu nakutaka nikukuwasaidie. Nimeota jana usiku yani mchumba wako Devi kuna kitu anakufanyia. Hapo alipo yeye amepigwa na vitu vibuti hivi. Alikuwa na jofu kamwacha, alikuwa na nani kamwacha. Unajiuliza swali, hivi huyu dada ana unabii wangu. Yeye alipokuwa anaingia kwenye mahusiano yake ya huyu, hakuona kama huyu jamaa atamchiti. Ngeo kile ninakwambia kama wewe ni mtoto wa Mungu, umbea haufanani wewe. Usikia mtu kama vipi, nimeonyeshwa katika roho ndio akwambia tu hivyo check maisha yake kwanza ana progress yoyote kama roho ameshindwa kutoa portfolio ya maisha yake mm unamwambia kwanza maisha yangu mimi mziko ukiweza kuonyeshwa ya kwangu ya kwako nitakiwa ameshakaa sawa look at elijah bia anasema kulikuwa na mtu mmoja alikuwa anaitwa elia kutoka katika nchi sasa ni mgeni wa wageni wa gilead ha 
Anasema when this man came akasema hivi ah mvua haitanyesha hapa mjini isipokuwa kwa neno langu. Alipomaliza kusema hivyo katangaza njaa kwenye nchi alafu yeye anaambiwa hivi nenda paka kijito cha Korevi nimemwagiza kunguru akulishe. <laughs> Kawatangazia wenzie njaa alafu yana malipa kula. A chaos maker Biblia inamuita mtabishaji wa Israel. I pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. Familia yako itatafuta majibu kutoka kwako. Amen. Uchi yako itatafuta majibu kutoka kwako. Amen. Hautakuwa mzigo kwa rais wako, utakuwa majibu kwa rais wako. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I pray to God every day. Yoyote atakaye kalia kiti pale. Yoyote atakaye kuwa ikulu aseme hivi Mungu, ninakushukuru kwa sababu huyu kijana yupo nchini. Sio mtu aseme hivi, "Eh, Mungu, kiniulia huyu." Sema nalo jibu la nchi yangu. Nalo jibu la nchi yangu. Sema kwa sauti nalo jibu la nchi yangu. Nalo jibu la nchi yangu. Sema Tanzania usipate pressure. Tanzania usipate pressure. A great billionaire is rising. A great billionaire is rising. A great taxpayer is rising. Mlipa kodi mkubwa anainuka kutokea hapa. Sema kwa ujasiri mlipa kodi mkubwa anainuka kutokea hapa. Kodi mkubwa anainuka. Usiogope nchi yangu, usiogope. Usiogope, usiogope nchi yangu. Siku nyingine wanatakiwa tu ujitie moyo. Ukiona watu hawakusikilizi, shoga yako hakusikilizi, mama yako hakusikilizi, ongea na Tanzania. Oh yes. Tembea barabara nisema Tanzania usipate pressure. Yes. Bado najengeneza biashara yangu, usipate pressure. Yes. Mlipa kodi mkubwa wa njia atatokea hapa katika chini la Yesu. Amen. Kwenye maombi yangu ya mwaka 2015 na na nimwambia Mungu, ninaomba Mungu kwenye maisha yangu kabla sijafikisha miaka 40. Mlipa kodi mkubwa wa taifa langu atokee kwenye kusanyuko la watu na waohubiria. Yes. And I see it is coming. Amen. Nasema it is coming in the name of Jesus. Amen. Huku ndani tunaye mlipa kodi mkubwa wa taifa hili. Yes. Kwa jina la Yesu tunaye mlipa kodi mkubwa wa taifa hili. Amen. Jehovah atatafuta njia zake atakunyanyua. Amen. Kwa mkono wake wenye nguvu utakunyanyua. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The great taxpayer. Hmm? Hmm? The great employer of labor in this nation. Asiwe serikali ya Jamhuri ya Muungano awe ni guru kutokea katikati yetu a giant is rising from here sema mwajiri mkubwa wa taifa hili anatokea hapa mwajiri mkubwa wa taifa hili anatokea hapa haleluya amen nchi na watu milioni 63 right now tuko 65 right 65 million right sio ndio yes eh tuko wangapi nchi milioni 63 right i'm asking you wao umeajiri wangapi katika hao So you say to yourself Katika hii milioni 63 in the name of Jesus Nimpunguzie mama mzigo milioni tatu atakuwa kwangu abaki na 60 Yes Unajua ukijua kuwapigia makofi wengine siku moja nao utapigiwa makofi. Ah kuna kitu nataka kusema hapo. Kuna kitu nataka kusema. Huwa namwangaliaga mzee Baresa. Namwangalia anasema Jehovah my time is coming. Let me warm up my time is coming. Oh yes. I look at the way people have been employed. Vijana wamebeba vidumu vya ice cream wana save maisha yao. A lot of thousands and thousands young men bear iringa mwanza everywhere watu wamebeba and I say to myself can't I have a product in this nation that Do you know nchi inapotaka kubadilisha sera ya aina yoyote watu wa aina hiyo lazima wao consider because they are major employers of labor because if they take away their investment mwana uhakika idadi kubwa ya watu itabaki bila ajira so they are in, wanaitwa wadau wa sera umeka hapo unaza eh bwana katika jina la Yesu tunazoia sheria mbaya ziachana na maombi we ajiri tu watu wengi nchi itakuita kwamba tunataka tutunge sheria hii how do you see ah 
ah sijui bwana acha nisome biblia na jana nilikuwa na ubii wakasema hivi mbona hujasoma andiko lolote haya yanasoma so there is a way to do things in our kingdom kuna namna ya kufanya vitu kwa ufalme wetu so kuanzia leo hii please listen to me what i'm saying eh yes nakupa mbinu za kufanikiwa kifedha this is financial breakthrough as per kingdom of god hazitoki google hizi nakwambia weka google njia hizi kama utazikuta hakuna nimekupa jana ya kwanza pay your vows sign contract with god it is biblical it is biblical nimekupa mfano yakobo he did that Jesus Christ of Nazareth came here on earth to be the king. Lakini alipokuja duniani ili awe mfalme, kuna siku akataka kumfanya awe mfalme wa Israel. Akakataa, akakimbia. You know why? Because that was not the mission. He had the contract. Contract inamwambia you have to be a king, but a king from the spiritual angle, not physical. Siku andaka kusulubiwa, anasema ikiwezekana kikombe hiki kinipoke. Maana ni ngumu. Afa anasema hivi si mapenzi yangu bali mapenzi yako what is that contract mtu yeyote anayejua hela na anayeheshimu hela hata kama anayo nyingi kiasi gani hakupi bila mkataba maalum hata mnaosikia watu wanafanya charity works wana budget it is a charity but it is budgeted they don't just give and they give it strategically they give it to where it benefits them you see you unaanza ukaona maybe aids zinakuja nchini mahitaji tunayo tulionayo hasa unasikia wabunga wanalamika bungeni hii misada inayokuja <laughs> hailengi hasa tija tulizonazo labda tu in a certain area tunahitaji hospitali sasa ah sisi tutajenga barabara tu na hiyo barabara yetu itajengwa na watu wa kwetu do you know what they did they simulated employment to their people kuna watu wa china bao hawana ajira kwa sababu tumepeleka msaada Tanzania so ili tuweze kuwalipa wale wa kule ambao hawana ajira tumekuja huku kujenga barabara ambayo inawezekana nyinyi muhitaji So you think they just help you. Ndio maana unasikia hata viongozi wakiwa wanazungumza sasa hivi, tunapokea mshahara, msaada wenye masharti nafu. Kwa kuna manini? Ila haya tuliyopewa sisi ni Ah ah, ni mawasingizie. Wanasemanga au wasemange? Msaada wenye masharti When God looks at you when you are going out kufanya kazi zako je Mungu anaiona interest yake kwenye biashara zako That was reason of the service of yesterday Najaribu kumsaidia yule ambaye hakuepo jana Tulifanya mkataba na Mungu Prosper me oh God and see what Unajua kwa nini tunaogopa kwa sababu we are not sure if he is here or not sababu ni kilikupua afa hayupo <laughs> yo wote nyingi mnasikia watu wanaitwa madevo worshipa wanaenda kwa waganga wa kienyeji ili wapate umaarufu wapate kazi do you think what they are doing they want to influence do you know why dollar is powerful That will be too big for you today. Let me continue the scripture. So, anawapeleka kwenye nchi na anawaonya. Msifanye mambo ya mfano wao. Are we here? Yes. Twende kumhukumu na tulati sura ya nane.
Nanizidi kumfamu Nijue pe Ndola kena Wokovu wa keka Nini Za Idi za Minaraka Zaidi Zaidi Nifamu Yesu Nijue Pendola Kena Wokovu Wake Kamili Nataka kujua Yesu hasa kwenye eneo hili la hela hasa kwenye eneo hili la hela kumbukumbu la nani sorry tuanzie wa kwanza na hii amri hii ninayokuamuru leo utaishika mm. kuitenda mpate kuishi na kuongezeka na kuingia katika nchi ile ambayo bwana na taka mzee hapa niwasaidie kidogo watumishi wa Mungu wanaohubiri agano jipya amina na neema amina huwa wapendi sana watu wakisoma mambo ya agano la kale na kitabu cha kumbukumbu la torati ni kweli kabisa na wewe umewasikia ni kweli kabisa sasa mimi nataka nikusaidie biblia sasa hivi haya yamefanyika kwa mfano yes amen amen kwamba tuchukue picha hii ya maisha ya hawa watu walipoingia nchi yao ya ahadi na safari yao then we copycat in our life as we strive to get to where god has visioned us to yes be remember nimewaambia watu wa Mungu the moment tulipookoka hatusafiri kwenda mbinguni no tulipookoka tuliuishwa roho zetu na tayari tukafika kule mbinguni ndio maana biblia inasema tumeketishwa pamoja naye mahali pa juu sana so we are there already yes yani hapo ulipo brother hapo ulipo ka dada yangu hapo ulipo ka wewe tayari uko mbinguni sijui unafanya nini saa hizi mbinguni lakini anachojua uko kule yes ndio maana anasema hivi yoyote anayeamini amepata wokovu na asiyeamini amekwisha kuhukumiwa sio atahukumiwa amekwisha kuhukumiwa kwa maana yake hukumu yako ina cease moto wa milele una cease the day where you believe so you don't wait for the fire you don't wait for the judgment the judgment stops the moment you say i believe Manaka nini? You don't go to heaven after you die. You are already counted a citizen there. No man has we are the citizen of heaven. We are the citizen of heaven. We are the citizen of heaven. Sisi ni raia wa mbinguni. Mahali pengine Yesu anatuambia hivi nyinyi ni mabalozi wa hapa. Mabalozi wa mbinguni. You are the ambassadors of Christ here. Ambassadors of Christ manaka nini? You are not belonging here. You are just ambassadors. Your passport is heavenly diplomatic passport who utakaguliwa utaingia tu Yes Hello Amen Nataka hii kae kwenye ufahamu wako As I'm walking on earth here I am, I am not a creature born from mashubwengo I am a creature born from above 
Yes. And the Bible says, who comes from above is above all. Yes. So I'm coming here, coming from above. In case you didn't understand. Bibi anasema tena. Kila alie muamini kristo, amekua kiumbe kipia. Ya kare ya mepita, ya kare yapi, ya taifalake, ya nchi yake, ya kabila lake, ya mepita. Tazama amekua mapia. Haya mapia ni yapi, ya minguni. So from now, his intelligence is not depending from his blood. Inezikana kwenye uko wawa, hakuna liye kuwa na damu ya biashara. Na wenye nazami ya nisisi ni kwetu hatuna damu ya biashara. Not me. Not after being born again. Hata kama atukuwaga na damu ya biashara. Yes. Oh! na mjua mtu mmoja na ito Daudi yes. kwenye ukoa baba yaka wakua na damu ya kifalme yes. but the moment the boy met the Holy Spirit yes. roa mungu walipokuja juu yake baada ya kutiwa mafuta yes. suddenly the man was saved to become a king amen na weko na wamna damu ya biyashara eti kwenye uko wetu amna damu ya biashara kwenye uko wetu mlitaka anze nani ndo unaanza wewe sasa amen kwenye uko wetu amna damu ya mtu ambaye atakuwa kiongozi wa sasa ndio unaanza wewe sasa amen hallelujah amen tukise nyaga ambie ndio mimi naanza nataka watoto wa dada yangu waseme ana akili kama mjomba wake yes anafanya biashara kama mama yake mdogo yes unaonaje hiyo unaonaje hiyo Sema inaanzia na mimi kwa jina la Yesu. 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 Hai, haleluya. Amen. Huyu ana akili ya hela kama shangazi yake. Yes. Hey, namuona wifi yako anavyosema. Yaani ana akili ya hela kama shangazi yake. Ana akili ya hela kama mdomba wake. Yes. It will start with me. It will start. Say it will start with me. It will start, it will start with me. It will start. It will start with me. It will start. It will start with me. It will start. Sema e bwana. E bwana. Ukitafuta mtu kwenye ukoo wetu. Ukitafuta mtu kwenye ukoo. Wakuwatoa watu wa ukoo wetu. Watoa watu wa ukoo wetu. Wakuwatajirisha watu wa ukoo wetu. Watajirisha watu wa ukoo wetu. I am O Lord. I am O Lord. Send me. Send me. Unataka ianze na nani? Unataka ianze na nani? Na mimi. Yaani I wish ningekuwa na mjomba na waache nephew zako. Yes. Waseme oh thank God for my auntie. Hallelujah. Amen. Huwa nawaangaliaga watoto wa familia yetu wakitoka galikizo. The way they are, they want to go to Uncle Alpha. Mara say ish. Hello. Everybody. Leo leo asubuhi. I was taking my kids out for a ride and uh, moving around with them. You know what they told me along the way? So that we were asking if we can go to Uncle Alpha. <laughs> Why mzungu? Mzungu kuna kagorofa kwake. Trust me, Uncle Alpha hana TV nyumbani kwake. I'm not lying. This is the truth. Ni mkoloni yule hivi yupo. Yupo. Ah Jesus. Yes. I'm sorry sir, I was just teaching. Hallelujah. So Bwana Yesu kama alivyosema kwenye kitabu cha Hana TV and I wonder why kids want to go to his house kutafika pale watachukua matunda watatengeneza smooth watapika watafanya nini So mimi na mimi nimeanza kujitahidi ku kuzunga kujifanya na mimi mzungu You know I kid you not I tell you the truth All our children yani kuanzia mtoto wa kaka yangu wa kwanza siko tuko saba wote watoto wetu wakirudi nyumbani the dream place <laughs> nimekusudia mwaka huu i pray for you in the name of jesus amen watoto wako waseme if you want i want to go to auntie yeah watoto wa dada yako waseme i want to go to my uncle yes 
you will never be a problem to your family. Amen. You will be a blessing to your family. Amen. You will be a blessing to your family. Amen. Nimeambia hivi kuna saa inakuja. Yeah. Marais wa Malawi, Zimbabwe, Zambia yes. watamfuata rais wa nchi yetu. Yes. Na kumwambia kuna mtu tumemuona. Yes. Give us that person. Amen. Na mimi nawaambia wa Tanzania wanitumie vizuri mapema. Yes. <laughs> I'm telling you because I'm in the place in my heart. Nimemwambia Mungu no way. Najua the moment you suffer alipoonekana kwenye familia yao hawamtaki. Farao akasema tumpate wapi? Oh, kila walipokukataa, chua kuna mahali pengine wanasema tumpate wapi? Yes. Mungu akulete kwa farao wako. Amen. Nasema Mungu akulete kwa farao wako. Amen. Walipokuambia hatukutaki. Yes. Usilie my sister. Yes. Usilie my brother. Yes. Kuna mfalme yuko mahali anasema tumpate wapi? Yes. Sema e Bwana. E Bwana. Nisogeze kwa farao wangu. Nisogeze kwa farao wangu. Haleluya. Amen. When they say Yes. We don't want you. Unajua ile moment ambapo unaona you have potential. Yes. Unajaribu kuelezea kuna ndoto nimeota. Kuna ndoto nimeota. Eh hey, huyu naye ndoto zake zinatukera. Listen to me. Kwenye hiyo ofisi inawezekana wanakunyanyasa because they don't know what you carry. Yes. Mimi nakutangazia jioni hii leo. Amen. Mungu naanyanyue mwajiri mwingine. Amen. Atakaye tumia potential zako vizuri. Amen. Watu wakakutafuta kwa jina la Yesu. Amen. Ninatangaza siku tatu za kutafutwa. Yes. Katika jina la Yesu. Amen. Siku tatu za kutafutwa. Amen. Watakuja watu ambao hujawadhania kwenye maisha yako. Yes. Watasema we heard about you. Yes. We heard about you. Yes. Na wakikuuliza utumesikia habari zako. Yes. Ukiwauliza mejuaje watakwambia wewe usitake kujua manake nini ndoto zimeoteshwa amen hey, ya, ya, ya. usiko dhania watakutafuta yes my god nasema usiko dhania watakutafuta amen usiko dhania watakutafuta amen they abuse you right now they don't know what you carry yes They don't know what you carry. Yes. No, 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 they don't know what you carry my sister. They don't know what you carry my brother. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Yusuf yule yule ambaye ndugu zake walimuuza sawa na bure. Farao anasema no 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 no. Tumpate wapi? mtu kama huyo. Yes. Bwana na akinyanyue kipawa chako. Yes. Kionekane kwa jina la Yesu. Amen. Bwana na anyanyue talent yako. Yes. Bwana na anyanyue kipawa chako. Yes. May your certificates now be known. Amen. Karia yako inyanyuliwe kwa jina la Yesu. Amen. Nasema hivi mbingu zikakutangaze. Amen. My Lord jaisikia ya maombi ninayoomba. Nasema mbingu zikakutangaze. Amen. Wherever you are watching me now in the name of Jesus. Yes. Mbingu zikakutangaze. Amen. Zikakutaje mahali ambapo kitu chako kinahitajika. Amen. Usiende mahali utakakodharauliwa. Amen. Mahali wapo watu watakaposema tukupe nini unachotaka. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Sema Bwana Yesu Bwana Yesu. Bwana Yesu Bwana Yesu. Bwana Yesu Bwana Yesu. Bwana Yesu Bwana Yesu. Tangaza jina langu sehemu za heshima. Tangaza jina langu kwa sababu za heshima. Thank you Jesus. Hallelujah. Our style is different. Yes. Sisi hatuombi ombi. Sisi we don't beg. Sisi we don't push. Sisi hatuoperate vitu vyetu mbele nyuma, hatunaanzia nyuma kwenda mbele. Nikisema hivyo maana ni tunaanzia ndani kwenda nje. Hatuendi kwanza dukani. Ah, tunaenda kwanza dukani rohoni. Yes. Unaingia rohoni kwanza. Yes. Unachukua wateja rohoni kwanza. Amen. Nisikilize nikwambie kuanzia asubuhi hii ya lekesho. Yes. Kuanzia jioni hii ya leo. Yes. Kuanzia jioni hii ya leo. Fanya yes. iwe ni desturi yako. Amen. Usifungue duka kabla ya kuwakamata kwanza. Amen. Fanya kama ibada. Yes. Nimewaambia mkienda kazini nenda kama unaenda ibadani. Yes. Ukienda dukani nenda kama unaenda kuabudu. Yes. Fanya kama ibada. Yes. 
hata kama una maneno mengi ya kuongea yes bwana yesu leo hii nawakamata amen hata kama una story nyingi za kusema una yes. mudi ya maombi yes hata kama ujisikii kuomba yes don't open up that shop without a prayer yes don't open up that work without prayer yes don't start your engine without prayer yes ukiwa umekaa kwenye gari yako naenda ofisini yes hata kama umechelewa yes umekanyaga clutch unakanyaga na gear yes. huku nasema vikoto rabaya ta rabozo koto kara rakata kota kapa paroko toko para ragagagaga masotoko kayaka kaya ukiingia ofisini vitu vinaipanga kama uyakaa yes receive your breakthrough now msifanye kwa mfano wao wao wanatoa garushwa sisi hatutoi msifanye kwa mfano wao wao wanauza miili yao ili wapate sisi hatutoi yes msifanye kwa mfano wao yes. wao wanaonga ili wapate sisi hatutoi yes listen to me sisi tunafanyaje yes. we hijack mifumo ya rohoni amen we hijack in the spirit amen we take over from the spirit amen we take control from the spirit amen every one of us from tonight yes you must have your control room yes you are winning from zion yes how should be kwa hela yes you will win from zion Yes. Kutokea kwenye kitu cha enzi cha baba. Yes. Unasema Bwana Yesu naenda dukani saa hii. Yes. Wateja 12 wa kwanza. Yes. Ni wa kwako. Waliobaki wote wa kwangu. Yes. Tunagawana Bwana Yesu. Yes. Tunagawana Bwana Yesu. Yes. Niletee wateja 300. Yes. 400. Wa, yes. Haleluya. Amen. Haleluya. Amen. 300 tu Bwana nawataka kwa leo. Yes. Katika jina la Yesu. Amen. Dar es Salaam ina watu milioni saba Bwana Yesu. Katika jina la Yesu 12 tu wa kwanza. Watakao maliza huu mzigo Bwana Yesu. Yes. Mzigo huu una watu. Yes. Huu mzigo ulioleta utakaa. Yes. Katika jina la Yesu. Amen. Na waita kutoka mashariki. Amen. Na waita kutoka magharibi. Hiyo ndio namna yetu. Yes. Hiyo ndio namna yetu. Amen. Namna yao wanajitangaza sana. Namna yao wanahangaika sana. Namna yetu sisi. Yes. We come a flag and get inside there. And we start to shake up to separate. Li how subiri siku ya tarehe ya interview ili ushinde interview. <laughs> Unaingia kwenye panel peke yako chumbani. My dear sister fanya haya. My brother fanya haya. Yes. Sifungie chumbani kwako mwenyewe kama unaona aibu. Shonda rabaha sokoto na kamata kila mtu nitakaye kutana naye kwenye hiyo interview kwa jina la Yesu. Yes. I put them under my control. Amen. What they, I will say they will say yes. Yes. See cause he cares. Yes. I force my name in their heart. Amen. I force my name in their heart. Amen. Sisi hatuishi kwa juhudi tunaishi kwa favor. Yes. I command them to favor me. Amen. I command them to favor me. Amen. They will favor me. Amen. I may not get it right. Yes. But they will favor me. Amen. I may not it get right. Yes. Oh boy. Yes. Kuna mtu anasubiria matokeo yake atue atoke. Yes. You may never get it right. Yes. But they will favor. Amen. msifanye kwa mfano wao mfano wao wanasoma booklet lote mfano wetu tunafanya hivi yes. father in the name of jesus lead me holy spirit topic za kusoma lead me nakataa kusoma kusikotoka kando rashata la bakaya karatasi iko chini ya uwezo wangu yes. akili ya mwalimu iko chini ya uwezo wangu yes. hata toa swali lolote ambalo sijasoma yes. kwa chini la Yesu Kristo yes. na pita kule alikopita yeye yes. majibu yake ndio majibu yangu yes. na ambatanisha ufahamu wangu yes. na ufahamu wake yes. anachowaza ndio ninachowaza yes. anachofikiri ndio ninachofikiri yes. kwa roho wa Bwana na kamata akili yake yes. na kamata ufahamu wake yes. nitakachoandika atasema ndio yes. alafu fungua Roho yako Please listen to this instruction. Roho yako itakako kuelekeza kwenda. Usiseme vijai sipotoka. Ah! Listen to me. Once is faith, twice is doubt. What did I say? I was asking prophet you better enjoy one day. Kamoliza you are close to pastor Chris. I want to know 
how did he do how does he do his miracles it looks so easy mwae kuangalia atmosphere of miracle ya pastor chris nenda kakuko kuangalia amewapanga watu kwenye wheelchair wagonjwa critical cases haombei mara sita eh baba out out mtu kwenye wheelchair amekaa miaka 30 chupa kanyanyuka you saw miracles there kwenye leaders leaders ground eh mniona eh ile miujiza haijafanywa na haijafanywa tuna eight eight malaika alishuka is a mere man mwanadamu mwenzetu then i asked him how akaniambia once is faith twice is doubt any person ambaye anakuja kwako muombe mara ya pili is is influenced by doubt sio imani tena so i understood from there kumbe okay the moment i'm hitting something i don't retake it back Mungu akumba kitu hata kimoja mara mbili hata kimoja Everything alichongea ndio hicho hata alipokosea alipeleka hivyo hivyo Ndio maana unaona mwanadamu hajatolewa kwenye udongo tena alipokuja kumba mwanadamu wa pili bibi alitolewa upande mwingine wa ubavu Hata aliposema si vema alijua si vema lakini aliacha kiende hivyo hivyo Once is faith twice is doubt Umeamka asubuhi unasikia uelekee Kongo kupeleka bidhaa yako That's what you had in the morning after prayer ukiwaza tu mara mbili ni kongo itakuwa ni kongo bali umeshapoteza you lost it i'm teaching you the code yes you had it uende mahali fulani please please hata kama mwili wako unakukatalia <laughs> hata kama mwili wako unakwambia hivi huko hakuna biashara please Abraham alipoambiwa toka uende paka nchi nitakayokuambia hakuambiwa direction hakuwa na compass he just stood up and move alipokuwa na move mbele ndio akama hivi hapo ulipopita nimekupa vipi kama angelekea upande mwingine once is faith twice is doubt interrogators wa mifumo what was system secret agents wanajua when they capture mtu wanapomkamata mtu na kumuingiza kwenye sehemu ya interrogation na kumtaka atoe majibu fulani they can okay acha na interrogators so i can expose their secrets ni kuambie kuhusu lawyers huh? when they want to win a case na wanaongea na shahidi au mshtakiwa they can ask the same question thrice fourth just to make sure lawyers you are here you understand what i'm saying anakuuliza swali kwa hiyo unasema alivaa shati la kijani eh niliona kabisa ni shati la kijani anakupeleka sehemu nyingine anakwambia wako ha mkatumia gari gani escudo mlipotumia escudo mkaenda paka wapi tukaenda paka kuna moto kwa hiyo unasema shati ilikuwa ni la kijani na mstari mstari weupe eh mstari aha mheshimiwa nafikiri unakumbuka alisema ni la kijani that's how devil does Devo anaitwa mwendesha mashtaka. Unasema hivi, kabisa nimesikia sauti Mungu ananiambia nipeleke mzigo wangu Mwanza. Saa hiyo ni saa 2 asubuhi. Saa 4. Nasikia sauti kama hivi. Hivi Mwanza kuna biashara kweli? Hivi ni Mwanza, hivi nisikia Mwanza au Tabora. Anyway, hata ikiwa Dodoma sawa. Unatoka Mwanza tabora dodoma mwisho siku sikia anyway hata nikifika mbele mbezi nikiuacha mbezi pale kuna watu wataochukua wataupeleka remember we don't do like them our style is different sasa lazima Mungu atunyanyulie wachungaji watakao tufunulia biblia tujifunze kanuni za kimungu kuhusu hela ndo tuwe nao sasa ndo ili kubwa sana sikustahi lijambo hili nimelipa tabu retu sasa najua haya yote sasa najua <laughs> Ah, 
Haleluya. Nitamweleza mbeze malasusa kwamba siku hizi amuimbi hizo nyimbo. <laughs> Bwana asifiwe. Ah. Yesu nakupenda. Santo kwa neema hii. Santo kwa kutufululia siri zako. Santo kwa kutujalia nyakati kama hizi kuyaona maneno yako kwa mwanga mkubwa namna hii. Yes. Hatutapotea gizani. Hatutashindwa. Yes. Umetuamini na ufunuo huu hatutashindwa. Yes. Hatutakuangusha. Amen. You, wewe utajivunia sisi. Amen. Utatamba kama ulivyotamba kwa Ayubu na kusema unaye mtu duniani. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Kumbukumbu kumbu, la Torah sura ya 8 mstari wa kwanza nasema amri hii ninayokuamuru leo mtaishika na kuitenda mpate kuishi na kuongezeka. Yes. Na kuingia katika nchi ile ambayo Bwana aliwaapia baba zenu nanyi mtamiliki. It is not their country lakini Mungu aliwaapia baba zao. Yes. Akasema mtamiliki. Second verse nawe utakumbuka njia ile yote bwana Mungu wako aliyekuongoza miaka hii arobaini akakutoa jangwani ili akutweze kukujaribu na kuyajua yaliyo moyoni mwako na kuzishika amri zake au sivyo mgeukie okay, ninakwambia wakati wowote kwenye maisha yako unapoingia kwenye majaribu Mungu anaangalia moyoni mwako umejaza nini you are tempted god is searching your heart kila unapopitia jambo fulani gumu jua hivi god is checking moyo wangu umejaa nini chunguza unichunguze bwana yesu nakuo unichunguze ako kawimbo usipende kukaimba sana kwa sababu achunguzi kwa kufanya hivi eh naona atakupitisha kwenye tukio ya mjazayo mtu moyoni mwake ndio atakavyofanya nini Mungu haupo lakini juzi uko na imba Bwana ninakuomba wei tena wengine waje waimbe kwa wakuone Bwana nimulike <laughs> njia zangu mwanga wako Bwana niangazie mwanga mulika Nyinyi ambao amja kuwa na cassette za Panasonic miaka yenu. Amwezi kujua anaongea kitu gani hapa. Anajua kabisa wewe umekuwa uhudhuria Sunday school, ukapata kipai mara, wengine mmegonga komunio ya kwanza, komunio ya pili, mmegonga ya tatu. Haleluya. Mlianza kule kule, mlianza kule vile vimkate kabla hujapata kipai mara. <laughs> Mkoonekana mnamwamini Mungu mlipopitishwa. Ha, Mungu ayupo kama bwana ungelikuepo haya nisingepita anachunguza moyoni mwako that's not the point of today let's go to where money is oh yes can i show you where money is yes start attack let's go together One, two, three, go akakutweza akakuacha uone njaa eh ngoja soma kwa vibe twende akakutweza akakuacha uone njaa mhm akakukalisha kwa maana Usioijua wewe wala baba zako hawakuijua. Anasema akakufanya upande ukalima ukavuna mana. Hapana. Akakufanya nini? Akakulisha. Akakulisha. God can feed me. He can just simply make food never to end in my life. Anapiga mtu simu. Bwana 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 rafiki yangu. Alikuja shangazi yangu kutoka Mbeya ameniletea viazi vingi. Njoo chukue kidogo hajui kama ndo likuwa chakula chako cha mwisho umechukua viazi kesho asubuhi amka ise nimepita hapa sababu yake nikuchukulia mikate mingapi unashangaa tu life goes on and you don't know you don't call oh yes wahanga wenzangu mnanielewa yani unashangaa tu kuna simu inaingia bwana wewe nimepita hapa buchani nikuchukulia kilo ngapi Saba. mimi Napokea. Napokea. 
You understand what I'm saying? Things like those. When God permits you to experience your miracles, I'm like you. Where somebody is just calling you, I say, "Mjo mangu bana, mjo kujaku toa kijiji ni eh, amelete amchele magunia matatu eh, bana, ni kulete kilonga pisa mchele." Bana sina, ni mkuambi na kuzia. Na shanga kilo sita kumi. Mwenye nwa kwa unasema zivi, ni namjua. Bana ataulisha utoto wako. Bana ataulisha maisha yako. Amen. Sema sita lala nja. Sita lala nja. Kama aliwalisha wale. Kama aliwalisha wale. Atanilisha na mimi. Atanilisha na mimi. Sema kwa maana Yesu alisema. Kwa maana Yesu alisema. Anawalisha shomoro. Anawalisha shomoro. Hawezi kushindwa kunilisha mimi. Hawezi kushindwa kunilisha. Analisha ndege wa angani. Analisha ndege wa angani. Ngeoke nakwambia swala la chakula nyumbani kwangu. Swala la chakula nyumbani kwangu. Sio la mawazo tena. Sio la mawazo tena. Swala la mavazi nyumbani kwangu. Swala la mavazi nyumbani kwangu. Sio la mawazo tena. Sio la mawazo tena. I know he will feed me. I know he will feed me. Ana tabia ya kulishaga watoto wake. Tabia ya kulishaga watoto wake. Ana tabia ya kuvalisha watoto wake. Tabia ya kuvalisha. Sema e bwana. E bwana. Mimi ni mmoja wa hao watoto wako. Ni mmoja wa hao watoto wako. Mimi na nyumba yangu hatutalala nja. Mimi na nyumba yangu hatutalala nja. Nikuongezee nyingine. Yes. Sema sitalala nje. Sitalala nje. Sitatupiwa vitu vyangu nje. Sitatupiwa vitu vyangu nje. Ni kuonyesha iko wapi hiyo? Yes. Ni kuonyesha hela hiyo iko wapi? Yes. Twende, twende mwanangu. Kumbuka tuna namna yetu. Yes. Hawa watu kumbuka hawajanunua kiwanja wala shamba. Walikula wakula. Walikula. Nini Mungu alichokuwa anakitaka kwao? Amri ya kwanza usiwe na miungu mingine. So in my heart I will never substitute God by anything. Yes. Nimeweka commitment yangu kwako. Yes. Nikipata chochote wewe ndio utakuwa wa kwanza. Yes. Ukinipa chochote nitakuwaza wewe kwanza. Yes. Kwa maneno hayo as you made him priority, yes. he will make you priority. Amen. Ukimweka yeye watatu atakuweka wewe watatu. Amen. Na ujue Mungu anatoaga mazidisho. Ukimweka watatu mara tatu anakupa tisa. Ukimweka wa 200 anazidisha 400 huko. But if you make him number one, yes, my God. Yesu namba moja, namba moja. Yesu namba moja. Uote tu se me moja. When I was reading this, I was young boy from university. Ndio nimeanza maisha. Nimeoa mke sina kazi. And I was reading this. Mama, mimi nilioa mwaka wa kwanza nilipomaliza chuo. Yaani nimemaliza tu mpaka 2012 huyu hapa na mke. Na nimeoa mke wangu wakati bado anasoma chuo. Because I knew the journey of my ministry will need this kind of brain of a woman. Nisipokuwa naye huyu mapema nitaharibu. So I took a wife. Unajua ukiona kitu tema kama secure. Yes. I didn't wait. Yes. Nilipoulizwa na baba yangu na mama yangu, utakula nini? Utamlisha mtoto wako nini? Nikawaambia, "Don't you know?" Nimewai by that time, tangu nimemaliza chuo, sikurudi nyumbani kwetu. Nikamuuliza baba yangu na mama yangu, "Nimewahi kurudi nyumbani kuomba chochote?" Hapana. Nimewahi kurudi hapana. Hapana, nikamwambia, "Prove me kwenye mahari." Baba usinipe hata shilingi 10. Wakanipangia mahari ukweni. Waliponipangia mahali this is what i did ask anyone will tell you waliokuepo miaka hiyo pale Calvary Assemblies of God Morogoro mjini Canaan Christian Worship Center by that time alikuwa anachunga mchungaji anaitwa Zephaniah Rioba the late my father in the lord wakati ule biblia nasema even biblia au ni mimi <laughs> miaka ile ha huh? miaka ile wakati yule mzee ananichunga pale nilimfuata mchungaji wangu akamwambia hivi to tell you the truth kwa sababu i needed to prove everyone that i will make it and i mean it nikamwambia mzee sitachangisha mtu yote ninalialika kanisa zima kwenye sherehe yangu na hakuna mtu yoyote ambaye atatakiwa kutoa mchango wa aina yoyote nikamchungaja akasema hivi hey, tony are you sure with what you are saying nikamwambia yes sir akaniambia hivi jumapili jana nitakupa nafasi uwalike wewe mwenyewe mimi siwezi kujiingiza kwenye hilo tatizo 
Jumapili ilipofika nikamwambia vijamani watu wa Mungu ninaoa tarehe saba Disemba karibuni sana kwenye sherehe yangu hakuna mchango hakuna mtu yote atakayechangishwa chochote ninaomba niwape taarifa kwamba wote nyinyi ibadani mmealikwa kafanya hivyo ibada ya kwanza nikafanya hivyo ibada ya pili guess what happened nimetoka tu ibadani namna hii baba mmoja alikuwa amekaa mbele by that time alikuwa ni manager wa bank wa NMB pale Morogoro mjini akanifuata akaniambia hivi kama kweli Mungu amekuambia ufanye hivyo mimi nataka nikae kwenye hicho kiti Mungu alichokuambia mimi nakupatia mchele gunia mia akaja mama mwingine alikuwa ni alikuwa ni alikuwa ni bibi mifugo Morogoro mjini akaniambia nakupa nyama ya ng'ombe kilo mia. Oh yes. Sikuongea hivyo nikiwa natarajia kitu kutoka kwao. Niliongea hivyo nikiwa natarajia kitu kutoka kwa Bwana. Yes. Mkono wake sio mfupi. Yes. Hata usiweze kuokoa. Yes. Mkono wake sio mfupi. Yes. Hata usiweze kuokoa. Amen. Kwako wewe Bwana nimeweka tumaini langu. Yes. Kwako wewe Bwana nimeweka imani yangu. Yes. I will see your hand Amen. providing in my life. Amen. May God deliver your miracle in the name of Jesus. Amen. May you see break through my sister. Amen. May you see break through my brother. Amen. If I'm lying, may God strike me with thunder right now. Yes. I never begged. I told my father, I told my mother, I will never changisha anybody. And I had the best wedding party ever. It is recorded even today mpaka leo pale. Nobody had such had such wedding. Walikuepo pale watu ambao wanafanya kazi kwenye mabenki. Walikuepo pale watu wanafanya kazi kwenye taasisi za maana sua wapi? Morogoro mjini pale vijana wenzangu kama mimi. Walipokuwa wakiwa walichangisha. But one guy. Oh yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. This is the gospel we preach. Oh yes. The God we preach, we have seen him. We have handled him. Tumemuona Mungu akiyafanya haya. So when we teach you these things, we don't just motivate you. We want you to synchronize in this faith. Oh yes. This is about faith, my sister. Yes. It's about faith, my brother. Yes. Anasema yote mfanyayo kwa tendo au kwa neno, fanyeni katika imani. Katika imani. Yes. Katika imani. Imani chanzo chake ni kusikia. Pastor Tony ulisikia nini? Nilisikia Mungu anawapaga watu wake vitu. Yes. I read the things early days of my life. So if you think I am rich because people give me money, bro, you are wrong. You're wrong, bro. I had this money way back. Way back. Nikiwa mwaka wa pili chuo kikuu cha Sokoine University of Agriculture if my classmates are here wani mashahidi I wasn't attending some other classes because I was great entrepreneur I had a restaurant in my university I was taking ela ambayo wow walikuwa wanapewa ya boom it was entering in my new restaurant it is easy to, it's not about ability of men is about faithing it until it happen oh yes talking stuff i will i remember my first day nimeingia chuoni tukiwa kwenye registration line wanafunzi wanaogopa wanahadisiana jinsi mabumu yanavyoisha wanahadisiana mateso na mateso ya chuo wanahadisiana sima ya nini i was busy moving barefoot with my pens na kapensi kangu miguu ikiwa tupu chuo kikuu Solomon Malangu campus Masimbu natembea kwa miguu chuo kizima nasema I will never fail in this university I will live like a boss oh, yes. I will control yes. I will have influence yes. I will be great I remember my first crusade ya injili sikuifanyia kwa watu nifanyia chuoni I did it I paid for everything nikawakusanya wanafunzi zaidi ya 3000 akakaa kwenye ukumbi I preach it myself Afu nivo mabiaza nikawa nikamwambia hivi mstoe sadaka. Mungu awabariki. That's how I did it. Ask people you saw me na mimi miaka hiyo they will tell you the stories. 
That's how I was living there. Nilikuwa nikikatiza kwenye dormitory za watu. I was walking like a star. <laughs> Not because I was a star, but there was no way you can escape me. Because there is a way I talk. There is a way I move. There is a way I think. Yes. You can never mistake me with poverty. Yes. You can never mistake me with weakness. Yes. There is a way I move in the street. I move like a boss even when I don't have a money. Yes. Because my mind think about greatness. Amen. One thing I know for sure, I will never end small. In this country with your eyes open before I die, they will see me at top there. Yes. I don't know anything small. I don't know anything weak. All I know I'm designed to be great. Amen. I'm coming from Zion. Yes. I'm coming from Zion. Bila nasema mofikiria mji wa Mungu na jeshi la malaika liko hapo. Na watakatifu wa Mungu hapo hapo. Na mapepo lingine sasa hivi tuondoe kila mzigo na utozinga kwa upesi. Why? Sasa tumezungukwa na wingu kubwa la mashahidi namna hii. I challenged myself. Nani alikuepo kumsaidia Daudi wakati Sauli anamtafuta ili amuue? Nani alikuepo? Daudi alilalamika kwa nani? He never complained. Aliporusha mkuki Sauli ule mchome. Daudi akaukwepa. Bibi anasema hivi jeshi litapo jipanga kupigana nami. Sitaogopa. Maana wewe upo. You are complaining every day. You are looking for the pet. Rise up as a giant of God. Rise up as a warrior of God. God is depending on you to take over. Achana na eti pastor sasa mimi sasa hata mtaji nitafanyeje? Mtaji wa kwanza wa mtoto wa Mungu ni mdomo wake. Mungu akutumia hata shilingi 10 kuumba. Alikaa chumbani kwake akasema na iwe nchi ikawa. Yes. Na iwe maji ikawa. Yes. Maji akusanyike mahali pamoja yakakusanyika. Yes. Kama una hela kaa chumbani anza kusema naita mashariki ilete. Yes. Magharibi ilete. Milango ifunguke. Okay. Ongea asubuhi. Yes. Ongea mchana. Yes. Ongea jioni. Yes. Ongea usiku. Yes. Unapataje usingizi na hela hauna. Unalalaje? kuto kuta kunitumia vi message pasta nimeota ndoto hii pasta nimeota ndoto hii pasta unalala sana acha kulala tumishi kila nikilala naota na kaba unalala sana tumishi nifanyeje hizi hizi ndoto mbaya ndoto mbaya ziniishe acha kulala I was challenging my wife yesterday. Napita mtaa wa Kokobishu jana usiku. Busy praying. Busy praying Kokobishu kule. Busy praying. Saa 8 usiku. Mzigo umejaa hivi, gari hivi zimejaa. Watu wako pale. Wapendo wamejifunika mashuka. Wanasubiria nani wa kumsengenya asubuhi? Umbea umewakaa hapa. Nafki nafki to makanisani. Nothing they do. The biggest thing they can do is talk and listening, talk and listening. Na kuchunguza chunguza hii haya huyu afanyaje? He he he, umeona alivyovaa? He 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 he, umeona pastor mbona alikuwa kama anamwangalia yeye? He he he. Nyang'au fulani hivi. Kwa hiyo nimwangalie nani? Ungekuwa na wewe mzuri ningekuangalia. Salamu yes No No I tell you the truth Ninyi wengine mlikuwa ni watu wa clubbing mnajua Jumatatu jana ni Jumatatu leo ni Jumanne pale tips watu wako fresh kabisa fresh wako vibe Saa nini kajua labda wataishia saa tisa. Nimekatiza pale naomba naomba najua wenzangu ataondoka Unajua wao ndo walikuwa wananipa motivation ya kuomba Samungu nachiuliza na I recorded it Ngoja You think I'm joking I recorded it and I had to show my wife nikaambia hivi afa angalia walokole walivyo nafiki wamelala saa hizi viumbani wana wachungaji wanagombania washirika na wakati check look I wish tungekuwa na screen hapa mnunue ma screen ya ibada yenu Look at this Look at this Hii ni saa 9 usiku Gari zimejaa 
Alafu tuko huko wachungaji tunapigana mawe napigana matusi napigana vijembe tunatumiana wao wanawake ili wajaribishao wanyoka wengine mchungaji mmoja apate skendo pumpavu kabisa We have nonsense works to do Watu wanaangamia people are sinning aggressively every single day Watu wanapotea dhambini every single kila siku bam pia zinafunguliwa klabu mpya zinafunguliwa si tuko hapa yani hata hao watu hao hao mnaoona hata hawajafika robo ya ndoto ndio nayo We are busy throwing stones for one another. Tunataftiana vituko tu. Tunataftiana amekosea wapi? Ah, unaona unaona amekosea pale. Ah, hata kwa mtumizi wangu. Kwenda. wasio na agenda wana maneno mengi ya kuongea machungu mengi ya kuongea sometimes marafiki zangu akiniletea taarifa bwana tumesikia ume kuna kitu kuna mwanamke fulani amefanya hivi na hivi na hivi bwana bwana angalia angalia namuuliza how did you get time paka wakakukalisha chini wakakueleza you don't have time i don't have that nonsense time to discuss stupidity i don't have that time yes. i have a dream to fulfill yes. i have a vision to attain yes. i have a nation to save yes. i have the kingdom to minister to yes wasting time that's why you are poor i was with one of my son juzi but basically we are talking about deals of business akaniambia dad do you listen tunawasikiliza vijana wengine watu wengine wamekaa pembeni they are discussing on how to import aluminum from india to bring them in the country and i'm here dad do you listen the deals they are talking about billions of money billions i said no 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 you know tatizo wanazungumza ki kiingereza so they are the problem is china the the, the, the money is wanazungumza digits billions of money billions and we are here busy talking about pastor so and so did what so and so nonsense stupid kiatengeneza kizazi cha kikristo kilicho jao mbea kuiko ideas come on ladies when you gather together discuss ideas yes that's why poverty will never end because uh, no matter how much you talk against that man of god that man of god belongs to god the more you are talking is you are planting cast to your own do you think i don't know men of god who are doing nonsense i know a lot of them i know a lot of them but i'm busy doing my stuff you are here to get a bread get the bread oh yes smear it with coconut butter Oh grand nut butter or oh, cocoa butter or oh, blueberry or oh, jam put it together bite it for yourself Ask my son here I was talking to him yesterday nikamwambia hivi I I just want to know wale ambao walikuwa na I got a chance a, a little chance to 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 speak to them and bless them walikuwa kwenye group la Instagram I don't know nani alifungua sijui hata nani amefungua group ngambe hivi mimi I want to give you someone who will help to boost your business Nikamwambia Are you sure you are serious in the business say, Yes sir How is it Did you spoke deals Hm You spoke to the lady Yes Are you building up something Yes she's in Japan She's in Japan Yes Are you about to make money Kabisa That's how we talk Oh yes. Aya niambie sana niambie hivi. Baba, unajua umemwona mwanaisha ameingia mlikani kanisani? Me discussing nonsense. Hi. I want to build a city my friend. Oh yes. So I have to raise men. If he becomes a millionaire or yes. a billionaire, do you think he will forget me? No. I cannot do what he does and he cannot do what I do. So I have to empower him as he empowers me. Yes. Together we are building the kingdom of God. Yes. Come to me the way you want it and I will deliver. If you come to me and you mbea, I will de- de- give you a ear to hear. If you come to me you really want a deals, I will connect you with deals. 
yes. Imagine a person of my caliber, a person like me. Do you think how many people I know? Like you know, I ask them can I trust this person to deliver? Nimpeleka uyu na akakutana na uyu. Will they live? I want to say, ah, man, I'm going to do a pastor Tony. Koko ni aminu ngani shana yola. Kini mina kambi ya pastor Tony. It's a country that is built out of dishonor. We are not trained to honor our old men, the men that are helping us. We are not built that way. Ndoma na baba zetu wa nyumbani kwetu tunawa tukana. Baba zetu wa liotu zao tunawa nye. Why? Na mina mwini mwambiaga mke wangu. Do you think, hawa watu na ukuja makanisa, baba zao tuwe nyo wa mishino kwa isimu. Do you think they will respect me? Do you think they will respect you as a pastor? We don't have fear of our fathers. Change your mind. Oh yes. Change your mind. Amen. Come out from the culture of men and start be a spiritual being. Mungu alipoambia wana wa Israeli muende paka nchi nitakayotoa maziwa na asali. Thank you sir. Mungu alipoambia muende paka nchi nitakayotoa maziwa na asali. Do you know what he did? Aliwapa amri. Mungu akwambia waachangie hela yoyote. Mungu aliwapa tu sheria zake. Period. Sheria ya kwanza, msio na miungu mingine. Very simple. Mali pengine sasa hivi. Wala sheria zake sio ngumu. All God want not our money. He want our worship. He want our hearts. Angalia amri ya kwanza, amri ya pili. It's nothing to do with your money. It has everything to do with your heart with him. I was so disappointed today. Na mtu mmoja anambia, "Yani Anyway. I'm not here to preach my disappointment. I'm here to preach the gospel. Hallelujah. Tutafika. Mimi ndo mchungaji ambaye Mungu amewapa. Mtafika. Nuna ukimaliza kununa kesho na kutaka tena hapa ibadani. Usipokuja na kufuata kwako na vipoko. Cha ujinga. Melelewa vibaya wewe. Tanyoka mwaka huu. Mungu mtamwabudu mbinguni mtaenda na hela mtakuwa nazo. Oh yes. Sitaki ujinga. Watu wakiwa hawaoni maendeleo yetu, watatutukana. Watatutukana. They will doubt you if they won't see your development. They will doubt you. The easiest way to shut up the mouth of the talkers make money in front of their hearts in front of their eyes. Yes. Make big money, big money. Big what? Money. Unajua ukisema big money inakuwa ni ndogo. Big what? Money. Hakuna mtu mwenye ujasiri wa kumsema sana tajiri. Tajiri unamsema kidogo tu afa unaomba asikusikie. Maskini wana uwezo tu wa kusema maskini wenzao. Na niwaambie hivi, hata siku moja people they will never like a great man about them. Hata wewe, hata ofisini kwako, hujisikii vizuri kumsema mtu junior wewe. Kwa mtu wa chini yako, nasema hana madhara na mimi. Watu wote wana discuss mtu ambaye ni mkubwa kuliko wao. So if you think they discuss more about you, Watu wa mteti mtoto. Watu wanataka wakubwa, wakubwa kuliko wao ambao wanaona mbona kama nguvu zangu na za kwake zinantisha. Hello? Amen. <laughs> Nauliza piki wati? Okay, okay, jana nakwambia kama hutatengeneza hela watakusengenya sana. Sana. They are able to talk against you because they know you don't have money. But when you have money, yes. they will talk to, against you with honor. 
Yes. Go get it, I'll go be Amanda. Anasema aka kuchukua mstari wa 3 pale haraka haraka tumalize. Aka kutweza. Aka kuacha uone njaa. Mm. Aka kulisha kwa maana usiyojua wewe wala baba zako hawakuijua. Mm. Apate kukujulisha ya kuwa mwanadamu haishi kwa mkate tu mm. bali huishi kwa kila litokalo katika kinywa cha Bwana. Mwanadamu haishi kwa nini? Kwa mkate tu. Ngeo gei ninakwambia mimi siishi kwa mshahara. Neno ndio nalipa chakula. Manake ni mshara unaweza ukao hujatoka ila bwana akisema imeitika imeitika. Yes. Naweza nikapokea hela siku yoyote. Yes. Tatizo wako wewe umetegeshia mpaka ifike 30. Ah ah. Ah ah nataka ubadilike. Oi oi oi. Oi. Oya oya. Oya. Nasikia anachokisema. Amesema msifuatishe namna yao. Yes. Wao nasubiria tarehe 27 ndo wacheke. Sisi tarehe 12 hela inaweza kaingia. Yes. Tarehe 23 hela inaweza kaingia. Yes. Hatuli kwa aya parosh. Yes. Mtu ataishi kwa mkate bali kwa kila neno. Yes. Neno likisema siku saba kutokea sasa. Yes. Hela inaingia kwako. Yes. Sisubiri mshahara. Yes. Ah, na litarajia neno la Bwana. Amen. Na neno la Bwana linasema. Yes. Jamani niseme nisiseme. Sema. Hili ndilo neno la Bwana. Amen. Three days from today. Yes. You will experience a supernatural breakthrough. Amen. In your finances. Amen. Supernatural breakthrough. Yes. In your finances. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Supernatural breakthrough kwenye finances zako. Haitegemei kazi unayoifanya. Anasema hataishi kwa mkate. Mkate wanalima, wanapanda, wanavuna, wanasaga ngano ndio wanatengeneza mkate. Anasema hataishi kwa mkate bali kwa kila neno. Yes. Kwa kila neno. Kwa kila neno. So you have to check. Neno langu wiki hii ni lipi? Ndio maana a smart Christian will never miss a Sunday service. Yes. No matter how busy you are. Yes. Make sure you have a word for Monday. Yes. Make sure you have a word for another week. Yes. Make sure you have a word for another day. Yes. Check out with your pastor. Give me the word for this week. Yes. Give me the word for this week. Yes. Hata akikwambia hana provoke. Yes. Akikwambia hana provoke. Yes. Tafuta hata 30. Hata 3000 mwambie mtumishi wa Mungu sadaka yangu yes. sema neno lolote. Yes. Akikwambia kabarikiwa wiki imeisha. Amen. We don't live by what we do. We live by the word of God. We are not the citizen of the country. We are the citizens of heaven. Oh, yes. Wao watokao mbinguni, taifa la Israel. Hawakutoka kule because they are they are the very strategic ways of war. No, God was with them. Am I talking to somebody? Oh yes. Sit down a little bit. I'm finished then you stand up. Nisipokuonyesha kaka andiko nitasikia huzuni. Sijafika ninakoenda. Twende tumalize hapo mtu wa Mungu. Mstari wa 4. Mm. Mavazi yako hayakuchakaa wala mguu wako haukuvimba. Mavazi ya kufanya nini? Ya kuchakaa. Wala mguu wako kufanya nini? Haukuvimba. Wanatembea hao daily. 40 days they are walking. Hamna nguo inachakaa. Do you think the enchakaa of nguo is depending the brand? It's not about the brand. That's why wengine unaweza kavaa mtumba mtu wa Mungu. Lakini kwa sababu tu kuna udambu idambu wa roho. Yes. Ushkara da gadish. Sema sitachakaa kwa jina la Yesu. Sitachakaa kwa jina la Yesu. Nasema hivi kuanzia leo hii. Yes. Wakiniona wataona hela. Wakiniona wataona God is reminding them anaambia oya nguo zenu hazikuchakaa nyinyi yes so wale jamaa walipokuwa wanaona nguo zao zichakai they thought it was normal so god is trying to show them guys it was me behind it mlipoona nguo zenu hazichakai it was me mlipoona miguu yenu haivimbi it was me i'm telling you yes kama alikuwa yeye behind all that yes nasema atakuwa behind you yes akihakikisha unavaa vipi kila siku amen akihakikisha hauchoki njiani amen sema jehova jehova appear as my backup appear 
has my back up. Uh, yes. One of the reasons why I'm very sure that I will not go down is because it's not me. It's Jehovah my back up. Uh, Sema, come on now. It was God behind all this while. Every time my enemies are expecting to see me down, God is rising me up. God is rising me up. God is up. Yes. I see God taking you higher. Higher. I see God taking you higher. Higher. Wanaoku pigia vita ufusini. Yes. Wataweka vitingi vya kila aina. Yes. Jehovah ata kubeba kwa mbawa zake. Yes. He will carry. Oh yes. Hey. I don't know what I should do, but let me show you this scripture. Let me show you this kalito scripture. And uh, I'm desperate for you. Kutoka 19 baba, kutoka 19 soma hapo mtumishi wa Bwana. Exodus chapter number 11. Yes. I can feel you know umewahi kuhubiri au umewahi kufanya jambo la Mungu paka mwenyewe ukasema hivi huko mbinguni. Si hitaji kuona maono wala najua tu Mungu mwenyewe ameshasema kwenye kitabu cha Dogo Dogo na nzika. Dogo waereze baereze baereze hapo. Exodus chapter number 19. Come on, I love my job. Let's go. Chapter, chapter 19, verse number 1. Mwezi wa tatu baada ya kutoka wa Israeli katika nchi ya Misri. Siku iyo hiyo wakafika jangwa la Sinai. Nao walipokuwa wameondoka refidimu. Na kufika jangwa la Sinai wakatua katika lile jangwa Israeli wakapiga kambi huko wakikabili mlima Musa akapanda kwa Mungu na Bwana akamuita toka mlima ule akisema Utawambia nyumba ya Yakobo na kuwaarifu wana wa Israeli maneno haya Kumbuka wako safarini Yes na wanakaribia sasa kuingia yes. and then God is talking to them Yes Check him start one Mmeona jinsi nilivyowatendea wa Misri Mmeona jinsi nilivyowatendea wa Misri Na jinsi nilivyo wachukua nini juu ya mbawa. Na jinsi nilivyo wachukua nini juu ya mbawa. Now, please, this is the center of this message. Nita ubiri ito kiandiko siku tatu mfululizo. Yes. Please get it. Nime wachukua nini? Kwa nini? Juu ya mbawa za tai. Nime watenda wa misri meona. Yes. Kwa manaki nini ya mtoboi mpaka mfilisti kapigwa. Kwa sabi ya shara na wateja mlionao, siyo wakwenu. Kwa sababu nchi hii sio ya kwenu. Yes. Kwa Mungu lazima akunyang'anyie watu kutoka kwa mtu yes. akulete. Na naomba kuanzia leo. Amen. Watu wakinyang'anywa kutoka kwa mtu akija kwako yes. acha kutia huruma. Yes. Acha kujifanya we mlokole. Yes. Unaambia amekuja tu kwenye nini? Ah! Nilikuwa nakushangaa unakaa kule unafanya nini? Hapa ndo pana mzigo wa original. Kingdom of God suffers violence, and the violent shall take it by force. Minute, make it a point that every person who does business that I do, I will take their customers. Yes. No, no, leave it. Kia mina kwa siwasi. Sema, I will take them. I will take them by force. By force. No mercy. No mercy. Mina wapenda sana wacheza juu mpira. Wana pwanza mchezo na salimiana. Naelewa? Wanapoingia kwenye game, hatari. Mtu apigwa hata goli 6, hapo akimaliza mchezo, wanakupatiana. Wanatia tena mwema. Maana when we are fighting for that little ball called money, don't know me, please. Oh yes. Don't know me. I tell you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Ah, uh, kama unafanya biashara na mtu na unamwona huko ndani, itikia amina kuliko yeye. Yes. Nasema hivi. Nasema hivi, by the spirit of the living God. Yes. Wateja wa kwake wanyang'anywe waje hey, kwako. Amen. Yoyote anayefanya biashara kama ya kwako. Yes. Sema kwa jina la Yesu. Kwa jina la Yesu. Leo hii kwa nguvu ya Jehovah. Leo hii kwa nguvu ya Jehovah. Nanyang'anya. Nanyang'anya. We don't take it by advertisement. 
Yes. We don't take it by following them. Yes. Tukiwa tuko kwenye prayer room kama hapa. Yes. Tukiwa tuko mkoloni saa 12 jioni. Yes. Tukiwa tuko mkuyuni saa moja jioni. Yes. Pastor Tony akatangaza wamechanganywa. Yes. Na wewe ukiamka kesho asubuhi unasema Jehovah. Yes. It is my time now. Amen. It is my time now. It is my time. Now. I take them in the name of Jesus. I take them in the name of Jesus. Asije akajifanya mtu anakuja na lugha ya kidiplomasia. Unajua wateja wako wengi mhitaji kugombaniana. Ah ah ah. Kampira ni haka. Watu 22 wanaume watu wazima wanakagombania. Huko wako 11 na huko wako 11. Watu wanakatafuta kampira haka. Alafu kutoka kwenye kampira kama moja timu moja anainuka kuwa star. Ha? That must be me. The next time we hear about you. Yes. We will hear your promotion. Amen. Now, now please follow me on the on what alichosema hapo. Asema nikawachukua kwa nini? Juu ya mbao. Hello, nikawachukua kwa nini? Juu ya mbao za taa. Nikawachukua kwa nini? Kwa mbao za taa. Kwa nini? Kwa mbao za taa. Now, please everybody. I want you to use your imagino our imagination sense. All right? I want you to go into imaginative power. Now, this is meditation time. Please be sober, be serious, be intelligent enough, be keen. Watch everything I do. Angalia hadi kidole changu kinavyokwenda. It means a lot. Anaposema amewachukua kwa mbawa. Naomba uweke ufahamu huu kichwa ni kwako. Hawa watu walikuwa wanatembea. Mungu hajasema hivi, nimewachukua kwa basi. Hajasema nilikuwa na wasukuma. Hajasema niliwekea vitahiri kwenye magu. Anasema niliwachukua kwa mbawa. Now I want you to put it in your mind. These people were walking. So wakati wao wanajiona wanatembea, they didn't see in the spirit. Because Biblia inasema hivi Mungu ni roho, nao wamwabuduo imewapasa wamwabudu yeye katika roho na kweli. So as they were walking physically in the spirit, God carried them. So they think they were walking. Kumbe Jehovah. Yes. Hey, I read a certain story. Aliwahi kufundisha Bishop David Yode po siku moja. Akasema hivi siku moja kuna mtu mmoja alikuwa anasafiri. Hadithi moja ya mzee mmoja aliadisiwa adikuo zake zamani. Tembo na chura walikuwa wanavuka daraja. Chura akakaa juu ya mgongo wa tembo. Tembo alipokuwa anavuka lile daraja, daraja likawa linatikisika. Kiki. 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 Wakafanikiwa wakavuka. Chura huko juu alikuwa anaogopa na tembo kale, "Ih, sio tukazama hapa." Walipofika mwisho Chura akaruka kwa nguvu tu akashuka chini akamgeukea tembo namna hii. Akaambia tembo sisi ni noma. <laughs> kwa nini? Umeona tulivyokuwa tunatikisa ile daraja? Sisi ni noma. Swali so, langu ni hili. Aliyekuwa anatikisa daraja ni nani? Tembo. Ila kwa kuwa tu chura alikuwa juu ya tembo. Chura na tembo wote wametikisa nini? <laughs> Kwenye hiyo biashara uende peke yako. Yes. Niko juu ya mbawa za Jehova. Yes. Wakiwa wanadhania wewe ndio unauza. Yes. Jehovah is selling. 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 Amen. Sema kama uliwabeba wale kwa mbawa. Kama uliwabeba wale kwa mbawa. Na mimi ni bebe. Na mimi ni bebe. Zamani wakati wa Neozi Mwando anaimba ni bebe. Nilikuwa sijamuelewa. Wachungaji wakajaribu kupinga ule imba wakawa jamuelewa niliposoma hii na mimi nikaanza ni bebe ni bebe ni bebe ni bebe ni bembeleze ni bebe ni Jesus Aha unichukue uni bebe mikono ni mwako niwe salama Mekena kitamba. Jamani sifanye mazingo mbaya. Angalia tu umekena kitamba. Wacha miracle. Hii kitamba kitafika pale 
bila kuruka wache mirako wache mirako oh yes kitambaa kimefika kijafika kimefika mnijibu mimi kimeruka hapana kimeruka hapana kimebebwa kijabebwa kimebebwa jehova atakubeba amen atakufikisha mbea bila nguvu zako yes atakufikisha china yes atakufikisha taki yes oh walidhania hautaongezeka yes watch god is yes hallelujah amen wa Nigeria wanaimba wanasema karimi dego Jehova karimi dego 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 Jehova karimi dego o karimi dego Jehova karimi dego 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 karimi dego Hey manake Carry me as I go. As I go in my business, carry me. As I go in my career, carry me. As I go in that business, carry me. As I go in that marriage, carry me. On your ego's wing, carry me. On your hallelujah, carry me. Wow! Wao walikuwa wanajiona wanatembea. No wonder kumbukumbu la torati anasema yes hamkuchakaa nyinyi kwa nini mlikuwa mtembei miguu yenu haikuvimba yes. mlikuwa mtembei yes. i carried you on my wings yes we will never fail that business amen ninaomba kuanzia jioni hii ya leo yes weka agano lako muhimu na bwana yes muhakikishie mungu hautamwacha yes Mwakikishia Mungu utakuwa naye. Amen. Usifuatishe njia zao. Amen. Moyo wako ujikite kwake. Amen. Uwe mwaminifu kwa sadaka zako. Amen. Uwe mwaminifu kwa nadhiri zako. Amen. And watch Jehovah carry you. Oh yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Carry me to go. Jehovah carry me to go to go to. Carry me to go. Jehovah carry me to go to go to go. Carry me to go. Jehovah carry me to go to go to go Carry me to go Carry me carry me carry me carry me carry me carry me to go to go Carry me to go Hey I see you being carried to go Jehovah carry me to go to go to go Carry me to go Jehovah carry me to go to go to go Carry me to go Jehovah carry me to go to go to go Karimi de go Jehova karimi de go de go de go Karimi de go Jehova karimi de go de go de go Mi bebe mi bebe mi bebe mi bebe mi bebe mi bebe Yesu mi bebe Uri chukue mi bebe mi bono ni mwako ni wa salama Hallelujah Mi bebe mi bebe mi bebe
mwenye kitambaa likipeleka kwenye milioni utafika mwenye kitambaa likipeleka kwenye milioni utafika au utafika sisi hatuko sawa na wao staili zetu sio kama zao so anasema hivi mmeona jinsi nilivyowabeba kwa mbawa God was specific. I carried you guys. So mkijiona viatu vyenu havijachakaa sio kwa sababu mkoa mnatembea. Sio kwa sababu mikoa mimi tumejitahidi. You saw yourself walking. Lakini viatu havikuchakaa. Sori ziko vile vile azishi. You think you are walking? It was me all along. God is about to show off with you. He will carry you. The thing is you think your brother will carry you. Unasikia say ah yule anabebwa na ndugu zake, ah yule anabebwa na walimu. Eh safari hii anabebwa na Mungu. Ha Tulikuwa na sisi ndio wetu naosa hii ni na Bwana saa hizi. Nabebwa na Mungu. Naitwa Pastor Tony Osborne aka Nabebwa na Mungu. Ndio kia yako ambie mkiaona madude dude kwenye maisha yangu msitafute sponsor na bebwa na Mungu This is the reason you told them Mkifika kule mtamkumbuka Bwana Mungu wenu awapae nguvu za kupata utajiri. I was reading this nikiwa kwenye business class flight from uh, Ethiopia to jo, uh, it was Joburg and then Harare. When I was there <laughs> niko na kiongozi wa AU amekaa pale. Si ambassador sasa amekaa pale and then I told myself me a boy from Pugu. <laughs> Business class. What is this? Etna mimi niseme kwamba ujue mimi nina hela. Hamna bro, ukiwa sikia wao wanatamba na hela zao, wewe kuwa mnyenyekevu ya kutajua sasa. Jamani, sio mimi. Mbawa za Bwana. Have this mentality. So wao walikuwa wanatembea namna hii. Oh wanawaiza walizunguka sisi kwa eh, miaka 40 jangwani hawakuzunguka my friend God carried them No wonder walipowekea ukuta Sisi nyinyi mliona umebonoka physically lakini ukimuuliza Mungu atakwambia hivi tafuta ndege inayozuiliwa na ukuta Nitafutie mimi ndege inayozuiliwa na ukuta God flew in with them kila ukuta watakao kuwekea ofisini you will fly in sema Mungu amenibemba Mungu amenibemba you see yani I was writing this nikiwa niko airport ya Lilongwe nikaona muandikia mke wangu nikamwambia hivi he has carried me on his wings on his wings and and he dropped me into greatness. Hapo amenitumia waraka wa amani mrefu. Nikamwambia relax baby. I was never carried by media. I was never carried by men. So no human being made by mortal man will ever to bring me down. Amenibeba kwa mbawa zake na akanidondoshia kwenye uku. kifaranga kilipochukuliwa na mwewe akakimbia nacho mwenye kifaranga akakifukuza kitadondokea pale pale mwewe alikuwa anaendelea kwenda nimebebwa kwa mbawa zake nikadondoshewa kwenye uku god can never go down if god will land will land on top eagles don't live down if if an eagle will land will land in the highest mountain That's why Jesus said you are the city set on the hill. Sema amenibeba kwa mbawa zake. Na akanidondoshea kwenye ukuu. 
akasema mwanangu na mimi na mimi amenibeba kwenye mbawa hizo hizo na akasema mbawa hiyo hiyo uliopanda na mimi nimepanda nani aachwe I'm telling you my brothers and sisters Christianity is not a joke it's not just a religion of shouting and praying there is something is working on in the spirit unajua mpaka Musa anawaambia mmeona nilivyowabeba maana yake nini walikuwa wajui so Moses had to alert them guys you were correct so inawezekana wewe you are moving in your life you think it is okay kumbe you are not correct you are, you, are not, you are not aware that you are carried on his wings so please from today go to that business knowing he is carrying me carry me the gold jehovah carry me hiyo ni asubuhi hiyo mwanangu asubuhi hiyo asubuhi unaenda dukani unapiga carry me the gold jehovah carry me the gold the gold the gold jehovah carry me the gold the gold the gold as i go jehovah carry me huo wimbo wewe google tu kwenye youtube carry me the gold utaukuta huko haleluya Let him carry you as you go. In your business let him carry you. Kwa maneno haya, hawezi kukubeba Mungu akakuchuchia kwa nsonso kwa kuimbinda. No, kuna watu baada ya ibada hii ya leo. Majina yenu tutayaona kwenye taarifa ya vyombo vya habari. So and so ameteuliwa kuwa mkuu wa wilaya. Tuko na mkuu wa wilaya mwingine huko ndani. Tuko na mkuu wa mkoa mwingine huko ndani. Tuko na mheshimiwa waziri huko ndani kwa na rais wa nchi huko ndani. Haleluya. God is seeking people to carry. Atikuona unajitapa sana na bidii zako na criteria zako. Anasema wewe una vigezo vingi. Ka. And then Jehovah anamtafuta yeye anasema hivi humpa nguvu yeye azimiaye. Ndio maana Isaia anasema hivi hivi vijana watachoka na vitu wazee watazimia alafu asemivi wale wa mkoji yao bwana watapaa juu ah wanapaaje juu kama nani mimi kuna watu wanaomtafuta Mungu hawaendagi wale huwa wanapaa hawatembei wale huwa wanapaa sema biashara yangu inapaa i see your business going higher You are business going higher. Amen. Mauzo yako yanapaa. Amen. Target waliokuwekea unasupersede. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Nenda kapae mwanangu. Amen. Nenda kapae. Amen. Nenda kapae. Amen. Ili kusanyiko kuanzia leo litaitwa the, the Eagles Congregation. Amen. We are Eagles fly yo yote anayeingia huko ndani kuanzia leo have mentality of an ego you will never go down you will never go down nasema tena you will never go down no sisi hao tunaobebwa na Mungu tomorrow is also a day don't miss day 3 ni waone waliobebwa sema bwana yesu naiacha cv yangu kwenye mbawa zako haha naliacha jina langu kwenye mbawa zako beba yesu ukalidondosha unakotaka ninachojua jambo moja wewe hautanidondoshea chini umesema tumeketishwa pamoja naye mahali pa juu sana ninaliacha jina lako juu ya mbawa za Mungu aliyewabeba wana wa Israeli akakubebe na wewe ninaliacha jina lako please hear what i'm saying naliacha jina lako juu ya mbawa za Mungu amen naacha jina la biashara yako juu ya mbawa za Mungu amen naacha jina la kazi yako juu ya mbawa za Mungu amen Mungu atalibeba litaingia mahali usikotarajia kuingia. Amen. Umaarufu wako utaonekana mahali kusikotarajiwa. Amen. Utavuma, jina lako litavuma. Amen. Kila ukuta uliokuwekea unashangaa unapaa juu yake. Amen. 
unapaa juu yake. Amen. Nasema unapaa juu yake. Amen. Unapaa juu yake. Amen. Let's go higher my brothers and sisters. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. You are breaking those walls. Amen. Tisao, vikuku vinafanyaje? Kuku kuku kuku. Eagles never bring down voice. Quietly fly. Go and open that business again. Go and sell like crazy. Amen. Mauzo yako yakashut. Amen. Huu ni unabii wangu kwako kabla ya mwisho wa mwaka huu. Amen. Mauzo yako yakashut in Jesus name. Amen. You started this. Some of you mlianza mwaka huu na duka moja. Hata nyinyi mnashangaa duka la pili linafunguliwa. Yes. Huamini macho yako. Yes. Listen to me. Nakupa offer mbele za Mungu na kuweka juu ya mbawa za tai kabla hatujamaliza mwaka huu nafungua la tatu amen things are happening things are happening you don't miss on friday njoo usikilize shahuda za watu hapo because things are going to happen nimesema three days three days we are beginning tonight uh, wednesday thursday Friday Tukifika Friday Wakati watu huko mtano wanasema yeah it is Friday na wewe unasema yeah it is Friday yes. Wapagani hawatakuwa na raha kuliko sisi Amen Nasema wapagani hawatakuwa na raha kuliko sisi Amen Hivi wapagani wanapataje cards za kwenda club Jumatatu na wana enjoy mziki unachezwa na wanapiga kabisa eh 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 wanacheza kabisa mziki Jumatatu wewe una stress unaogopa hivi boss atanielewa kule kesho ha nakata amen party monday party tuesday hey, party wednesday party thursday every morning Kari mi dego Jehovah kari mi dego Ukiona una maombi ya kuomba fungulia kari mi dego Cheza hapo ndani peke yako kama chizi umekurupuka saa 11 una kazi ya kufanya wala usiombe kari mi dego Jehovah kari mi dego Kari mi dego Jehovah kari mi dego Jehovah Ukiona huo wimbo umeuzao Tafute dada rozi muando mapema ni bebe ni bebe Hallelujah Nyanyua sadaka yako juu Asante Yesu What a day So hao jamaa unaoona hawajachakaa miguu walibebwa best Hivi ukibebwa unachakaa vipi? Sababu utembei. Kwa nyinyi mnaona unadhania unatembea physically kokoto kokoto. Hamna. Wenzeni wako mbali sana. Now you know. Nilipokuwa nawaambia hivi, nataka uanze kuishi as a spiritual being. Kama una bahasha asha zona kwa bahasha huko. Tukae, tukae. Haleluya. Angalia huko na kumalizia malizia maokoto. Usiondoke haraka na wewe. Ona hapa, ona. Ona. kama aliwabeba maana yake akuwabeba physically alizibeba roho zao so it do you know roho ya mtu ikiondoka kwenye mwili mwili unapokonyoka unakufa ah sio inaonyesha hii au kesho eti naonyesha tu kama moja kama moja tu yakobo kama tu. Wakati tunaweka sadaka yako tayari kwa ajili ya kutoa sadaka. Our time is up. So nakupa tu haka kaokoto nitaanza nako kesho. But you know these things bana they must go in a certain way. Mungu mzuri bana da. Heri kumjua na unaelewa sasa eh? 
James chapter number 2 verse 26. Yes. Yes. James. Yes. Yakobo sura ya pili mstari wa 26. Maana kama vile mwili pasipo roho umekufa, mm? vivyo hivyo na imani pasipo matendo imekufa. Maana mwili pasipo roho. Kwa hiyo kila biashara ili isife, lazima iwe na nini? Na roho. Anything physical without a spirit behind it is dead. Yes. I will begin there tomorrow. Hallelujah. So every business must have a certain spirit. Otherwise, it's dead. So I will teach you to, tomorrow how to call upon the spirit for your business. Amen. Mwili pasipo roho umefanya nini? Umekufa. So most of you, your businesses has no spirit. That's why they look dead. Now, these people had spirit and God is spirit. So get, God came down. Mungu akaja na mbawa zake za kiroho. Akabeba roho zao. Kwa hawa watu wakio natembea jangwani siku rubaini. Jehovah is busy traveling. Mungu alisha fika nao kanani. Wakati wabalo natembea. Ndiyo mana hakuna bari liwazuia. Hakuna ukuta liwazuia. Nye mkono na bari na gawanjika na mnaibu. Mungu alikuwa sabi msha vuka. Because as far as I'm concerned, Rosen is going to Oh my God. Yes. Royako is going to be in Yes. We are going to be in the middle of the day. Yes. 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 I don't see myself here. If I'm not going there, then the world will travel to be here. I once told somebody, I'm a mimi, because I'm a young mimi. Do near it, 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 Kwa sababu chura alikuwa juu ya nani? Na daraja lilitikisika likutikisika. Mhm. Ukifika ngambo ya daraja unashuka. Anaambia tembo sisi ni nom. Umeona tulivotikisa daraja? Ngeokie jirani yako ambie yule mtumishi asipate pressure. Nitamshangaza. Jamani, next time business, I uh, mean um, financial breakthrough like this, it will be in Dubai. Yes. We are going to see the show. We are going to see Utaendelea kutuangalizia watoto wetu wajukuu zetu. How do you think? I think great thoughts. I think big things. Because I don't walk. I don't fight to become. I'm carried. I am aware. My brain is so much aware. I'm conscious of it. I cannot fail. I'm on his wings. Daraja likitikisika, mimi siogopi kuzama. Kwa nini? Tembo kanibeba Haikuwa is Kufika Mimko Mimba waza mungu Simenibeba Haikuwa is Kufika Goja bana, goja bana Nyanyuka juna sadaka yako 
Kama umekuja na sadaka yako ya fungu la 10 njoo simama mbele nitaziombea zote kwa pamoja. Kama una fungu la 10 au limbuko, simama mbele, alafu wengine tusimame huko na sadaka zetu. Kama unalimbuka, hata kama uko kule nje unalimbuko au una fungu la 10, chap, kimbia mbele. Please don't walk slowly, run. Run, run, please run. Sema Eagles congregation. This is a club of Eagles. Mm. Sema roho yangu imebebwa. Kimwili niko Tanzania ya kiroho niko juu ya mbao za Mungu. <laughs> Na nataka kunidondoshea anajua jambo moja Mungu adondoshei watu chini mlimani nyanyua juu sadaka yako hawa Mungu aliyobeba malimbuko yao na zaka zao ukawatenge kama walivyotenga hiki cha kwako na wanyewe ukawatenge kawatenge mbali na mabaya mbali na majanga katika jina la Yesu kafungue madirisha ya mbinguni sawa sawa na ahadi ya baraka yako ukawajalie baraka yako na watoto wako waliobeba sadaka zao za ibada hii Mungu umetuahidi leo utatubeba kwa mbao za time. Nithibitishe neno lako maishani mwao. In the name of Jesus. Wasikose kilichochema. Ukawabebe ukawadondoshe kwenye ukuu. Walioko kwenye malaki ukawabebe ukawadondoshe kwenye mamilioni. Walioko kwenye mamilioni ukawabebe ukawadondoshe kwenye makumi milioni. Walio kwenye mamili, makumi milioni ukawabebe ukawadondoshe kwenye mamia milioni. Amen. Walio kwenye mamia milioni ukawabebe ukawadondoshe kwenye mabilioni. Amen. Ninatamka kwa jina la Yesu hakuna ukame ndani ya hii nyumba. Amen. Hakuna atakaye kuwa chini kama kwa jina la Yesu. Amen. Hakuna atakaye shindwa kama kwa jina la Yesu. Amen. Wataweza, yaliyoko mbele yao watayaweza. Amen. Watayaweza, watayaweza, watayaweza. Ninatamka kwa jina la Yesu wataweza, wataweza kila vita iliyoandikwa kwa ajili yao Mungu utawapa kushinda katika jina la Yesu unawabeba ukawabebe na hao wanaotizama kwa njia mtandao kwa sadaka zao Mungu ukawabebe kwa jina la Yesu Kristo nimesema haya na imekuwa amen weka sadaka yako kwenye kapu kama umekuja na fungu la kumi na limbuko lako sadaka yako ya kawaida utaweka kwenye madhabahu hii inayokubeba Unaitu tazama kwa njia ya mtandao tunakukaribisha uwe partner na kama uko huko ndani you would love to be a partner of this ministry watu wetu ambao wanashirikia mambo ya partnership na mama mchungaji wako pale nje na kama you want to be a special partner na unanitikiza kwa njia ya mtandao uh, unaweza ukawa na namba hii ya mama mtumishi wa Mungu namba ni 07 uh, 0659 0857 3500 you can she will contact you na kukuelekeza nini ambacho tunapaswa kufanya fungu la 10 na limbuko viwe kwenye kikapu lakini sadaka yako ya kawaida utaweka kwenye madhabahu hii Asha zimtusaidie kuona vikapu I think people are done Mungu awabariki na Yesu akakubebe Karimi dego Jehova karimi dego 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 Karimi dego Jehova karimi dego 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 Karimi dego